Everybody, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Gaviani, and I am so confused by this. I took the screenshot last night when I was, you know, just playing around with stuff, because Zeke here seems to be under the impression that I have completed the currently assigned mission, which I very much have not. I have not, well, okay, actually I did find Erezu, but I have not interacted with her. I marked her location on the map, and I quietly left without any sort of scene starting. Uh, but anyway, though, this guy asked me to find his sister. I actually found her, too, without, um, without, uh, the need for, uh, Ursaluna. So it's very strange. I also wanted to share a little something else that happened last night when I was playing. Um, but I'll save that for when more people get here. <laughs> ah, heavens. I check how the volume is. How's the volume? I check how the volume is. How's the volume? Uh, I assume it's okay. Alright, so... Yes, I have marked Erezu's location on the map. Hello, Jack's Road! How are you doing today? New person, huh? What brings you around? <laughs> huh, I actually kind of can't hear the game volume right now. Oh, because I had my own volume set down to 8. Okay, now I can hear it. Yeah. Changed my team up a little bit. I caught a female combi, so that's good. I'm gonna have you pick that up just for some extra experience points. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is there something else around here to break? I thought I saw something. Always good to have new people. And it's always good to have people right off the bat. So having a new person right off the bat is it's nice, you know? It feels nice. How's it going? How was your day today? I hope it's good. Actually, something came up that was not very good, and I will talk about that when some of my regulars get here, but uh you know, I don't want to bring the I don't want to bring the tone down, you know, especially right away. <laughs> yeah, you know how that goes. <laughs> that thing is having some fun over there. Look at that. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I get everyone's making that joke, aren't they? Ah, zoom, zoom, zoom. Come on, get some free experience here, Combi. Ah, huh. oh, there it is. Gonna say there's something in the water. Or m mud. Mud, I guess. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, is that not is that not the one that's fighting me? It, you nasty plot, huh? Okay, I guess nothing else is around here, so. Okay, mud bomb. Let's try that. Oh, goodness, heavens to Betsy, look at that. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sure you farting public wasn't that bad, I'm sure the poor guy got- Okay, no, I don't like you. I'm actually going to be banning you. No, that, that sort of behavior is not acceptable. Um... No. Why, why would anybody think that that was okay to do? No. We're not, we're not going to be doing that. We're not. 
Um... Oh god, and it even it takes that out. I, I don't How do I how in the world Okay, how do how do I how do I erase the chat? I mean th this came up last time. Um Um, seriously, how do I get rid of the chat? It's not under my chat. Oh, hi, Luna. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't know what's going on. People are trolling me already. I don't understand why people think that kind of bullshit is funny. I, I just... I don't understand what they get out of it, and I don't understand... You know, uh, I don't understand how to get rid of it in my chat. Uh, uh, they're going to be gross, huh? Just, you know, seriously, people. You know... For a second, I actually thought it was someone I know because I used to know someone with a similar username. And actually, that other person was someone else who blocked me for literally no reason. I think they thought... The, I, I think the, the person who had blocked me um, years ago was... Um, under the impression that I was sending anonymous hate, but you know, I hadn't been. I don't. Do, I don't do anything like that. He had been like getting some anon hate on his Tumblr, and somehow I think he came under the impression that it had been me. But that that's a that's probably a completely different person than this one. It's just a similar username. I'm betting. Uh, so, Luna, how was your day? Let's get some activity in chat so we can remove those ugly comments. Hello, Mercury. Back at running for my life. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let... If everyone could just type how their day was in the chat so we can get rid of those comments above. Because I, I don't know how to erase them. Mm -hmm. Uh... Uh, it doesn't short break it work, it isn't that bad. Okay. Well, that's good. It's always good to have a good day at work. Okay, I have not gone to, fi to find a razor yet, but I did find her. I just randomly came across her, and I didn't interact with her yet, so... Yeah, I would imagine it would be slow. Um, I mean, I know this area isn't getting a whole lot of, you know, bad weather right now, like other parts of the country, but... Uh, oh yeah, Mercury, are you in one of the areas that's getting, like, really bad weather? No, no, I, don't, I won't lie, ready to be home. Yep. Stop stumbling. Jeez, you think you're, you're me. Okay, yes. I need to get... Okay, no, no, no. I had it on Murph. I am trying to send out Murph. No, come on! There, thank you. And we're heading up to where Arezu is. A bit gloomy right now. I was really sleepy because of the weather, yeah. 
Last day off of work for a while. Don't make for even just next few nights. When it's rain and ice, yay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, is it the... There she is. Okay. Frick! No! I'm not gonna lose to a skun tank. There. Frickin'. Come on. Huh. Anyway, though. Uh, Luna, you already know the crappy thing that happened earlier. Uh, but Mercury, I got banned from my favorite streamer's stream. Um, and her Discord. And... I don't know why she just put a message uh, like she wasn't even streaming at the time like I went to go remove her and uh, found she was already off of my list of of channels I'm following and just the only even close to hint is on her Twitter she posted something about like not uh, like it's okay to ban someone from your server if you don't like their vibes. I've spent almost two years watching this person. She has never once given the impression that she didn't like me. Like, not even once. She always seemed very excited when I would come in. So I don't, I don't understand. But you know, enough of that. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk to Rezo, but, Arezu, but first we're going to finally evolve Chimborazo. And this is going to be my first time really seeing this. Like, I've seen vague pictures. I've seen some vagaries. But I have not yet seen, like, a full-on... What does the starter actually look like? Uh, yeah, it really is a crap reason. You at least tell someone. But let's have some good vibes right now. I am confusion. Why does it look like a depressed horse? I, I imagine you guys are probably laughing your butts off right now. Or a stoner horse. I, 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 what's the... Fi fire ghost? Okay, that's that's actually pretty awesome. Um, oh, uh, here, before I change the moves, I want to see what kind of... Okay. Uh, times you've seen it use Infernal Parade? I gotta teach Overheat and... Okay, I already knows Flamethrower. I... Okay. Okay, but it seems I can teach seems I can teach him hex without any sort of issue. Goodness gracious. Wow. I, um, w was not expecting. You're not even going to come out to... Oh, okay. Okay, now you can. He yes, that is a shiny hippopotas. I caught him the other day. <laughs> Huh? 
Okay. Yeah, if you're at past your third noble, that's way farther than me. Compare some of these Pokemon revolutions and things of the past to modern. It means something happens and they lose these forms in the future. Yeah. Hi, girl. Oh, Mitsumi, how did it all go with Ursaluna? Thanks a bunch, girl. But how'd you find me all the way out here? Um, I neither. I just watched. I just came across you. You followed the scent of the potato mochi I bought at the wallflower. <laughs> Man, I wish I could eat some more of those right now. Jubilee Village sure was a lot of fun. My looks run out, though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, uh, there you are. Arezu, right? <laughs> M Mistress Calaba, I, 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 I didn't... I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry about that, I should have treated you better. Huh, wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that Maya Ursaluna was so enraged. You are trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. I think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Uh-uh. That explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. It must have been powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make balms, but uh, I fell and sprained my ankle. She has some of the more practical shoes I've seen in this game, though. <laughs> See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and also learn about crafting. Okay, still see you, Luna. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon, and he told me about the balms you used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. Uh, you galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. <laughs> well then, we better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Adamant. <laughs> what were you thinking doing all this yourself? Do you think I couldn't help you? Uh, no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Mitsumi. I'll take the bombs that Arezu made and meet you at Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Arezu. Mitsumi will calm Lilligant, and that will be that. Things should settle down. Head to Brava Arena, Mitsumi. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Arezu will be taken care of, my dear Biberel, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. <laughs> Aww! You're all so kind. You, you need to take her shoe off. <laughs> like, seriously. Oh. Oh, okay. This I like. This I like. Okay. Oh. Oh my, I gotta go up to the north, huh? Ursu's <laughs> my favorite little good girl. Coit is my favorite little bad girl. 
Is there a Jupiter XP in this game yet? Like, d do we know? Like, have you, have you run into anyone that looks like her, or...? I did see a hairstyle, like, in, in the shop that looked a little like Jupiter's, but, uh... I'm gonna just head over here and, like, heal up. Oh. I have to get... Also, if you couldn't tell, I really like doing the Mars voice. <laughs> there is, I haven't found them. Some people have contemplated this one person, but I don't see the resemblance. <laughs> I always, I, like, I have this idea that, that Jupiter isn't from Sinnoh. But, of course, you know, that doesn't mean her ancestors couldn't be. I mean, heck, Clay's ancestor is from here, so <laughs> who knows? <laughs> but then again, we did know for a little while uh, that Clay was meant to be Japanese. Japanese-American. <laughs> and the thing is, I cannot find where that was said. I just know it was. Oh, yeah, over here. Hmm. Yeah, I got some pretty good. Okay, let's make some more potions. I can't make many more, but. Hmm. And I would like to show everyone something that happened last night. Behold! <laughs> Especially Bertha and Agatha are related. I'm guessing they're kind of says. Oh, that's possible. Yeah, Charm just looked like a veteran type trainer to me. I wasn't even thinking Bertha. Hmm. Oh, also, I caught like an entire frenzy of Teddy Ursa, so that was cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sparkle Shine is going to evolve soon. So, let's switch you with the regular Star Avia then. Uh, let's see. I caught a few, um, a uh, few uh, alphas. How are you getting all these sheenings? I don't know. I think it's just because I'm spending a lot of time dicking around in the field. And, like... Wait, doesn't Combi evolve it? Shouldn't Combi be trying to evolve by now? I thought Combi evolved at level 20. I spend a lot of time dicking around in the field, and I'm always looking around. And shinies are, like, really easy to see now. <laughs> you can see them at a pretty good distance, and they're all sparkly. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Okay, so I can do this, and... Oh, it was already on the stage. Okay. Air Slash, Brave Bird. Number you've caught while well, they were in the air? Okay, so, alright. Okay, Brave Bird. Is that the move that it wants to learn? 
No, it is not. <sighs> hmm. Well, Sparkle Shine would be nice to have against Lilligant. Murph probably wouldn't be so much. Um. But you know, Ponytail needs some levels. Okay. Uh, unless Lilligan has some sort of new form. Oh, and for all of these Bweezels, I still cannot find a Bweezel that the guy will take. At all. Yeah, this is the most Chinese I've ever gotten a game that isn't Go. Even in Let's Go, where, you know, you can see everything in front of you, it's... Uh, uh, okay. I, I think I only have one, and I think it's a Zubat. You can enjoy the Star Raptor Squad now. Is it basic? Maybe. Is it badass? Yes. <laughs> Star Raptor are pretty cool. I didn't I didn't raise one in Shining Pearl because I had already raised one in regular Pearl. I was trying to it it, it vanished. Why did it Y'all saw that? Okay. It, it, it keeps vanishing. What the heck? Oh, there's another... I can't get on that side of the river yet, can I? I'll have to remember that when I get uh, Basque Legion. Oh, finally! Can evolve! But let's let's see something. Is there a way to just check what I have in my party right now? No, there isn't. Okay. Combi. Okay. Uh, times you've seen it use Gust. Well, investigate different flavors of Combi, honey. Okay. Never seen leap out of trees, just one. Number of evolved. Okay. Well, if I gotta evolve more than that, then I may as well just evolve this one. Yay! <laughs> Here we go. Although, I am frustrated that I haven't caught a shiny on screen yet. Oh. <laughs> Check it out, I got the D. <laughs> Streamer gets D live on camera. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can get that light over there then. Okay. So there's something this way. I want this bringy mushroom. Up there, huh? Or here? 
no. Yep. Frick. I don't even think that it goes that far up. Whoa. Come on, come on. You can Skyrim your way up. Come on. Everything uses Astonish. Actually, I think the easiest way to get up that way is to is to go up this way. So Oh. Uh no. Okay. It's like this way. No, really. Frickin' look at that, look at that. Ridiculous. That's what you are. Uh, there's like one little part of the slope. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Star piece, come on. Oh, it's a little dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't even see the tree going. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, and there was something else I wanted to try back at camp. Now that I've actually, you know, got a stream going again. Uh... And I found two of the um, the hidden books that they were talking about too, so that's th that'll be good. Um, that they were talking about. No, they weren't talking about it. I just happened to find one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I wanted to check this out because it said it could interact with this thing that I found. Yeah, compatible. Scyther is ready to evolve! Yay! But I don't know if this gives me Scizor or Cleavor, so... Ah! Awesome! Oh, that's cool! Look at that! I have a cleaver of my very own! Oh my god, it's six feet tall! 
Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my goodness. That that is really cool. There we go. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. I was watching uh, my friend Netbug play this earlier, and she accidentally sold like everything she had to Volo. It was hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have 184 Great Balls. I have 85 Pokeballs. Hmm. Okay, Vespaquin. Oh, I've caught a heavy specimen, huh? Okay, time to see Vespaquin leap out of trees? Okay, uh, Scyther is research level 2 just because I've caught one. X scissor, huh? Okay, I need stone axe and X scissor. Mm. Neither of which I have. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I think that's good. Okay. What's a good name for a cleaver? Uh, and not just cleaver. <laughs> Uh, Chop Chop? How's that sound? Cleaver is probably my favorite Hisui in the firm so far. The only reason I'm not using one is because Ursa Luna is a freaking tank. <laughs> awesome. Eh, let's go with Chop Chop. There, I think that sounds good. Uh, Ponyta. Mm, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, yes. Uh, change name. Hmm. Dazzler. <laughs> because why not, huh? Uh... Okay. Mm. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look what I caught. Because this apparently is perfectly fine to exist in ancient Japan. Something's up. Even though I caught it from a you know, one of those space-time anomalies. Yeah, I'm gonna name my Porygon after a Digimon character and no one can freaking stop me. <laughs> Take that, common sense! Okay, my goodness. Hmm. 
I'll just stick with what I have right now. No. Uh. I'm way too scared to go in those rifts. I'm obsessed with losing half their items after dying in one. Oh, man. Yeah, basically, I just run around and, like, dodge roll everywhere. No matter what's happening. <laughs> No, I can't get over there. <laughs> Wait, why is it a move I have never used before? Is it half... What? Why did... How did that even happen? It's a move I literally just got. Okay, I guess I have to go up through here then, huh? That's what it's telling me, right? I want to see something. Ah, darn it. There's no items. Oh! Are there? Ah, this is an interesting thing to run across. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, I... I thought What's-Her-Face was going to be back in here, but I guess not. Caliba or whatever her name was. Okay. Where the heck do I so I gotta go around this way? Yeah, right here. Since we're going this direction. Let's just try to find this, huh? Okay. There's still... Okay, I've had sprained ankles before. I know they can take a while to deal with, but... Okay, come on. Okay, um... Might as well... Frick. My goodness. Uh, stealth rock. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, uh... Wait, let's... There, let's try this one. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can try to catch you now. Uh, quick attack? Crap, I just realized I'm part bug. Frick! No 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 Rocks What? How do you what? Uh Um Okay confusion should work right Okay, Curly, I wasn't trying to knock it out, all right? I'm just saying. I was not trying to do that. 
I like your enthusiasm, but that is not what I was going for. Who is tracking me? No, 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 no. You will not. No. I don't think I could deal with a skunk that large in real life. Like, oh, there's someone over here. I could have sworn one of the Pokemon in that mass outbreak was a different color from the others. So is he saying that um, I'm more likely to find a shiny in a mass outbreak? Okay, there aren't any mass outbreaks right now. Getting to Brava Arena is super annoying, not saying anything specific, of course, but supposedly it's tripped a lot of people up. Okay. Alright. Where is... There's the pouch. Okay, well, there aren't any more around here. Versus ring. Okay. Okay, let's... Alright. Oh! No, do not dodge roll into the river. No! Can I just interact with it? Oh, seriously, I can just walk. I can just walk up that slope. Really? Yeah. Um, because about that... Uh, no, this is... Freaking... Okay. And over here. The B button is supposed to be the button to get off, not to make it go faster. If I can get to... You'd think knowing how to swim would be a prerequisite for joining the Survey Corps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think if I can get to Diamond Settlement, then I might be able to find my way around. And from the torches, I seem to be going the right way. Unless it's a flaming herring. Oh. This must be Diamond Settlement. Whoa. Neat. 
and sneak up behind this guy. Unusual to see it. Prima? <laughs> you look a lot different than the last time I saw you, Prima. Rumor has it you Galaxy Team folk are making a Pokedex. I'd sure love to see it, but it's done. I can show it to you right now. Here, look, watch. I'm going to show you. Let's say, look at all this, huh? Yeah, yeah. Am I hard work? <laughs> this guy is all man. Next to the noble Pokemon, we finally get some semblance of a normal life here. Been a long time coming, I'll tell you that. Let's play past the time! <laughs> you know, Adamant is my little brother? I'm not really related, but they're siblings all the same, and I'm their littlest sister. One time, Ursulina really helped me out by finding an item I'd lost. So I hope I can talk more with the Procline people real soon. Clover used to be in the Survey Corps of the Galaxy team. wonder what she's doing now. Oh, so that... Are there actually not sisters? Wish I had a Pokemon buddy that would defend me if I got attacked by Pokemon out in the wilds. What Pokemon would ever fight by my side? That sounds like a quest. I see something interesting out here. Is this? Yes, this is another Survey Corps member. Hello! Pokemon's moves become less likely to hit when used in foggy conditions. Of course, moves like Aerial, Ace, and Swift will still hit every time. You came all the way out in the bog to tell me that, huh? You, you, you saw? Really? No, no. What? He, how did that not hit? I was getting the, the, you know, nice little target and everything. Okay, so, Cleaver, a noble Pokemon, gets bashed when it runs into things. But regular Pokemon don't. How are you hitting so many times in a row? You're slow. Uh, no, I don't want to throw a Pokeball. I had it on heavy balls. That was what I had selected. Can you please stick with my selections? I don't take my shoes off in here. Time helps us to grow and learn. At least we're all told. Time also causes us to age and eventually die. Just something to think about. This game. A rift is open in the sky. Sure hope it's not some sort of ill omen. Alder? Why is this guy looking like Alder? Time flows forever onward thanks to the grace of Almighty Sinnoh. Y'all know Alder- oh my goodness, look Look at that, look at that, look at that! My feet are sinking into this stone! Wh why? Why? 
see. This one... Oh, no. I guess I'm sunk in all of these. What in the crap? What in the crap? Oh, there's that and another one. Looking at the Galaxy Team's new way of life, you can really feel the times are changing. At least that's what Arzu always said. Our clans both revere a different almighty Sinnoh, but if they're both the real deal, that's the dispute with the pro count, land would be a huge waste of time. Wait a fuck. I'd know that Widow's Peak mullet anywhere. <laughs> this game and what antidepressants weren't they on? It's so dark sometimes. Why do you have a picture of Grumpy Maxie? And a picture of Asura Alder. Please tell me. I... I need to know the lore of this fuckery. Right now. I... I, um, uh, welcome? In the Diamond Clan, we make curatives using medicinal leaks and the like, sure, this game has us with some basic history. Yes! Hey, the Galaxy team knows how to craft a huge variety of useful items. Seems we need to get the times. Whenever wild Pokemon attack, we summon Lady Lilligant and rely on her for protection. Not much we can do by ourselves against Pokemon, after all. Let's play past the time. That's just sitting around waiting for time to pass. <sighs> Maxie's ancestor is some sort of feudal lord. I'm going to laugh so hard. Patty? Our duty in the Diamond Clan is to watch over the flow of time and all the changes it brings. And nothing actually ever changes around here. We of the Diamond Clan revere Almighty Sinnoh, but the Pearl Clan claims the very same thing. What could this possibly mean? Your name is Era. Legends tell of an ancient hero of Hisui who had ten trusted Pokemon companions. That's long before our clans arrived in this region, mind you. Am I being brigaded by more Psyducks? You're from the Galaxy Team, aren't you? Do you have a medicine that can cure headaches? I need it for my Psyduck! I live together with these little ones, and I can tell they've been suffering terribly. I wish I could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried have worked at all. There's so many people in the Galaxy Team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. So can you ask them for some medicine? You, you do realize that's a Psyduck's default state of being, right? I... Oh, uh, wait. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. Uh, I 
I think I can just get by on this kind of... There's Polo. I'm sure he's got secret potion on him. <laughs> I shan't. I shan't. Huh, yeah, I'm getting away from you then. Come on. Really? Iron chunk? Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's try you. Okay, fine. You're gonna pull that on me? You know, I would take, like... I, I took a screenshot of the Maxi alike, right? I would post it on the Villains Discord, except it would be a spoiler to even put it in the Magma section. Such... Such... Like, the very presence of anything from this game being in the Magma section would be... STG, though, if he turns out to be some sort of feudal lord, I'm going to laugh my butt off. <sighs> the other clan is going to have pictures of an Archie alike, aren't they? I... Uh, I am not certain what to think. I just, I just know it. I just know that that's exactly what's going to happen. Fuck! I should give it context for Magma fans, but the very fact of anything from this game be- Oh, hello there! Hi, bitty baby! Oh. No, no! Fuck! No, 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 Okay. Come on, 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 come on! Oh, this would be something for the feathery ball, wouldn't it? Oh, there's another of those will-o'-wisps. Or whatever they're calling them. Okay. 
touch, I said. And there's another one up there. Okay, so it seems I have to get up this way. <gasps> no! Yikes, yikes, yikes. Are they following me? <gasps> okay, well, I'm here. I was gonna... Kneel behind this rock for a little while? That is a much different looking Lilligant than I'm used to. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready? Lady Lilligant's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Arzu, you gotta stay off that ankle. Oh, the tick was one of my poultices to get Arzu's leg all patched up. Caliba, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Arzu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen! The Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring down your uh, bring a Tron Pokemon and prove you're right. Don't let me down. Like, I have a voice in my head for him, but I just can't manage to do it, so it's been kind of inconsistent. It's like kind of a surfer dude, but not quite. Nice! Okay! When you press the white button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage.
I, f I feel like I'm doing battle with some sort of Lord of the Fairies or something. Okay. Uh... Something as dazzling as you are! Okay. Frick! Uh, rock smash! Yeah, I kind of figured you'd have something. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> this is really fun. There's eventually going to be something that if I don't dodge it, it's going to one shot me, isn't there? Oh my god, it's daytime! Show well against your power, yes! I think my phone down because you've been watching the search of scares me. You're so much better than me, though! Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, dear. I just went right into it, didn't I? Oh, frick, 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 frick. Gotta keep my distance. Okay. I wish there was a way to lock on. Is there? Ah! No! Oh, ZL, hold to focus. But I have to keep it held. No! Stop! Stop running into it! You foolish, foolish, foolish little kid! Okay. I'm not recovering! Frick! Everything went black. Yes, I know. Right, you're vulnerable to dodging. Seek so capacity attacks without taking any damage. I know. Hmm. I just when I was changing my team up, I got confused and disoriented. Run away and then dodge towards her.
Why am I not recovering? Okay, Chimborazo, let's go with you. Let's go with you, I said. Okay, flamethrower. Okay, one hit, one hit. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm gonna be able to get a Lilligan outfit after this. No, stop, try, try, stop trying to leap into them. Okay, I've got her under half. Okay, you're getting angry, huh? Okay. Okay, all right, Chimborazo. Time to, time to put a beat down. Okay, flamethrower, come on. And steady as she goes. Under a fourth. Okay, okay all right. I'm missing. I fucked up. Ah! Uh, okay, come on. You got very little. I wasn't expecting the leggings. Huh. You received the meadow plate for Lilligant. Imbued with the essence of plants. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant, you saved Arezu as well. I appreciate it. First, Ursula, look at that. Now, Lilligant, you're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzy didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Yeah. <sighs> Arezu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. 
A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Salacion ruins. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. As wisdom in those words that somehow you only noticed the other day. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Rezu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Ka Kalava wrapped that all up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arezu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. From now on, doing without keeping things from you. Agreed? I just realized... Her emblem is probably, like, under her sweater. Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lil again, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Myrlands safe, Arezu. I realize I'm changing how I'm pronouncing her name, but... I'll be sure to inform Irida that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursaluna. You did well, Mitsumi. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me, I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to change to help the time we live in change for the better. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Sid tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Mitsumi. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How'd a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect, I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. still be up here. <laughs> uh, nothing up here. Darn. <laughs> this is the sweetest. I know, right? Be a real shame if something really fucked up happened in that family line, huh? But I guess we all have those relatives that, you know, do shit. <laughs> I'm apparently descended from some Romanian outlaw. Although, given my brief knowledge of Romanian history, that could be just about anybody. <laughs> Let's see. 
I obviously love Mars too, but Ursus just got something extra. <laughs> well, she's not in an apocalypse cult, for one thing. <laughs> I kind of hope we see someone who's, like, obviously an ancestor of someone we know, but acts absolutely nothing like them. Because so far, everyone we've seen... Out of everyone we've seen, I think, um... Clover is probably the least like her descendant. But even then, I mean, like, Candace still has, like, the hot temper. Well, and not really a hot temper, but, like, a hot attitude. Yeah, frick. Is it that? You know, it's funny, when you said that getting Brava Arena is annoying and it's tripped people up, I thought you were saying that it was going to be like a maze or something, but no, it was a pretty straightforward path, but it was super annoying. Like this. But much. Let's go over this way. Very slowly. Okay, fine. I guess I'm not gonna very slowly work my way down any slope. Okay, I need to go this way then. No! I can't... I can't... Why can't I... Okay... All right, fine. So you can go that literally is right up the side of the mountain on Weirder. You went the back way. Okay. Space time distortion seems to be forming. It didn't seem like a back way. It seemed like I was going really... Ow. Straightforward, because that's where all the torches were. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to cheese this. Okay, nice little slide. Okay, uh... <laughs> okay, let's get this plant here. <laughs> Goodness, Callie. Right up the side of the mountain, huh? Goodness. And the time quick if I never thought that stupid way I went. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. 
You're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. Don't you blame me! And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Okay, I got a notification on on uh, Twitch, but it's nothing I need to worry about. Okay, oh, just open the wrong window. Okay, there we go. Thirty or more Pokemon in one report. There we go. Okay. Look at all that research. Number of different forms you've obtained. Oh my my, that is literally the only thing I need to accomplish with unknown. It doesn't expect me to use them. <laughs> What's this? Quad Lady Lilligant? Smashing! Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting to report. Yeah, I know. That's my intention. So is you gonna come here and style some hair for us, please? Found her by the son of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. No. No, I'm telling you. Why does nobody believe me when I say that? You have my level of skill. Your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. First, you don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. <laughs> uh, frickin'. You get more people standing around here, huh? Oh, this is the people that I reunited. Yeah, I found her! Without, without needing to, um, to use, um, Ursaluna either, Zeke. <laughs> the instant I took my eyes off you, you lost him in the bushes. Well, anyway, Mitsumi, I do appreciate all your help, so thank you for me, too. I know there's a lost and found for items, but I never thought there was one for people, or that I'd end up in it. I have 42,000 P. Get. How fast am I gonna whittle that down? He always changes the angle at the last. Oh, hey. At the last second. Watering with care. Okay, pseudo widow at the bog bound camp that seems to be feeling rather poorly. Odo, one of the chaps from the village, is doing his best to treat it, but he could use a bit of help. He has no idea it's a rock type, does he? So you successfully calmed Lilligant. Excellent. There may be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife.
By the way, you may notice I'm not actually wearing my galactic pendant. It's because it's actually giving me a little rash on the side of my neck, so I'm just wearing planets today instead. <laughs> a stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, and frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? I don't freaking know. You want me to know? I don't know how I ended up in this situation. We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. Bro. I don't know what I was doing before this. I don't know what I'm doing now. And I don't know how you came to the conclusion that lightning that happened after I arrived here is somehow related. There you go, piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. This is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from Pokemon research, toughing it all off with a good night's sleep. Well, hopefully. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? <sighs> oh, right. Have this flashy new recipe, Mitsumi. It ought to scatter those gloomy thoughts. It clearly did not in you. Oh, okay, alright, okay. I I've heard about these uh, in the ghastly achievements. Because apparently I ha have to scare some off. I think it's it's either Ghastly or Haunt or, or uh, Abra. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. As the wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. His words are worth taking a heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. You know, if this really is the character that we played as in Bits then I want to know why she's not telling them anything. <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. Are you finally setting up shop? Yes, please! You'll never guess what! More hairstyles. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop! We're like on the other side of the region from where you live. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles! Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still gonna be Lilligan's Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends. But I can make it work, don't you worry. I'm more worried about the travel time. <laughs> anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Mitsumi. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. <laughs> I'm pleased that you found, uh, found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Uh, Mr. Commodore, sir, uh, it's about the whole Ursulina situation. If you're to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arzu. New Mitsumi, you will come with me. <laughs> you're also tired to trust you near my neck with scissors. <laughs> to Prelude Beach! Oh, I'm just taken here. Oh, can I finally use the boat? These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. Wait, if they just arrived in Hisui, how comes one of them is already in the Ginkgo Guild? Does the Ginkgo Guild have, like, franchises in different regions? When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. This is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. 
We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. We've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. The reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Mitsumi here, one of our survey corps recruits. We've been at sea for like a month. Through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. See, and one of them is already in the core already. I. <laughs> the advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Mitsumi, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I mean, one could say that. <laughs> Just... <laughs> hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. Yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Yeah, everyone keeps telling me that. I just... <laughs> the... Microphone, come on. It's imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. You're not going to turn N on me, are you? Oh god, no. He's going to turn Lissandra on me. Be warned. As the leader of the galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Excuse me, boss. Irida from the Pearl Clan's here. Good. I believe she knows what she's here. I believe I know what she's here about. That was for you, Mitsumi. You should see for yourself how Juvelife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Okay, yeah, sure. It wasn't ominous at all. Frickin'. I wanna go on a boat. I wanna go on a boat. Mercy, what a treasure this wide open land is. Glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I doubt it'll stay quiet and empty for long. You know, there's people that have been living here for hundreds of years, and they're talking about people that were here before them. So, uh... It's really not empty at all. Another targets thing, huh? Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball, practice, 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 and be the best of all. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. What do you say, sport? Up for a challenge? Sure. I haven't done any of these yet. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Okay, so there's like combos for frick.
Okay, I did not manage for. Who would have thought we'd see the day when Saeed was the character who looked the least shady? <laughs> like I said, I got a prize that's lined out to give you a new amount depending on how well you do. Based on your score this time, he's a prize just for you. You'll be a sharpshooter yet. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't actually care. So. I like side quests. I don't really like a whole lot of mini games. I mean, I guess I've experienced a few mini games that were all right, but uh... okay. I want to see because one of the weasels was two foot seven. See, I see two foot seven there, but it's freaking Abra. Uh, nine. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. Wow, you're amazing. I want a Pokemon. Uh, I can't do... I, I'm, I'm trying to do the Waka voice, and I just can't get it in my head. Conlan, so he comes up with constructed languages? Yes, I know the term for that is conlang, but you know what I mean. I'm so bored, I wish something would happen. Yeah, about that. Well, that's cool. I don't think this was here before. Yeah, this whole building. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, I simply can't help myself when it comes to Master Benny's potato mochi. That's the whole reason I came to live in here, Sui. That's kind of pathetic. <laughs> uh... Some strong strapping type. Mm hmm. All right, the field's even bigger. See, but we don't have enough helpers to keep them watered. If you'd lend us one of your Pokemon that does a water type move, we'd be mighty grateful. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, I have several. Here, check this out. It's an Alpha Bidoof. You want an Alpha Bidoof? Oh, they've had a special dialogue for it! You're lending me an Alpha? Now, I sure could water the fields nice and fast. Will a mighty thing like this be happy taking orders from the likes of me? I guess we'll find out soon enough. More importantly, your Pokemon should be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wow, wee! Your Pokemon's an irrigation sensation! Now I'm all pumped up! Sit back, old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever! <laughs> and I'm all done! Oh! That's some fine work. Any crafts we're playing here will do great. It's all thanks to you two! I'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a little while longer. Just give it a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon of yours to do the watering. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Your Pokemon is putting its heart and soul into its farm work. So clearly a special dialogue for Alpha Pokemon. Yeah. Hey. Pokemon sure are amazing, but remember they're terrifying creatures. 
Hmm. Ah. <laughs> oh, who has a quest for me? Aha, uh -huh, hello. You and Taofua, oh my god! Just make out already! Hello again, valued customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Taofua is refusing to visit me again. You won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure you get somewhere if you bring three pot pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after this he'll actually accept me. He can see into the future, though. <laughs> That's a problem. There's <laughs> always a problem. Oh, look, she's hanging around out here. My hairstyles are bold and stylish. In the mood for a style change? Sure. Is this where I get... Is this where I get the... Grab yourself a seat. So what'll it be? Oh. It is not... Oh, well, wait. Because I saw... A little something... I can actually... Oh, yes! Okay, finally, I can get different colors. I still can't... Wait a minute. Netbug! Netbug, look! You can get pink hair! <laughs> Netbug really wanted pink hair, so... <laughs> But I noticed something here. This is the particular shade of blue, you know? And this seems to be that particular shade of red. But this one... This one is someone else! There's no purple. <laughs> wow, you're going for a big style change, huh? Just to check, you're really okay with this? It's not that different. <laughs> you got it, girl. Here goes nothing. It's one of those pictures behind her that had the Jupiter hairstyle. Yeah, see... I guess it's not even then, it's just the flippy part in the back. And we're done here! Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Last thing, hat or no hat? Gotcha. Thanks for coming now! Drop by any time you hear, I'll keep polishing my skills. How to make Jubilee Village a fashionable place to live. Oh, we got a new store next door. This a Pokemon I think would be the perfect inspiration for some new designs. It's a species called Shellos, you see. I've heard it has different forms depending on where it lives, with different coloring, too. If I could just compare its different forms, I'm certain I'd be filled with inspiration. Could you show me Shellos' different forms? One can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands, and the other out in the Cobalt Coastlands. Ooh, new area. Honestly, I'm not sure whether battling with Pokemon makes you brave or reckless. Okay, what do you need? Just... Can you... <laughs> Can you 
give her a color style after this later. Not sure if you could get purple, though. Imagine if they just left Jupiter out of things entirely. <laughs> well, another thing. Not only do I like Jupiter, purple is my favorite color. So, purple headphones and all. <laughs> Supposed to sit on the pots, you know, not hover above them. Hmm. Okay, so the top looks like some sort of, I don't know, tofu stew with eggplants? <laughs> While freezing a sentient rock for slave labor. <laughs> oh. Okay, rice with corn? And a little pickled vegetables. And, well, th there's some tea, Netbug. That regular rock would have been fine, but no. <laughs> there's some of that tea you wanted. Frink, 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 rock to force to sit still all day. But yeah, so there's that tea you wanted, and it looks like it's being served with some either temper of veggies or fried chicken. They have issues, but fine, here's your geodude. <laughs> Mm, tea. <laughs> Mercury. I know Netbug in real life, and, um, yeah. She's, uh, basically like this regardless. Hi there. Got a special product in stock. Pokeball set. Yours for the bargain price. 1500 Poke. Sure. Tumble stones aren't heavy enough, obviously. Ah, oh, this is all new, too. How you gonna Pokemon to be your friend? My playthrough, I did talk to Not Mars and then stop there in case you're wondering where we'll start up next time. Okay. Can I interest you in a candy? Yeah, at the candy stand, you can purchase experience candies. Okay, uh. No. Thank you, though. Oh, dang, yes. Can just buy <laughs> We had we just had kind of an intimidating experience with a character I did not expect to have an intimidating experience with. A certain someone, and I will not say who because you haven't gotten here yet. A certain someone just gave me a speech that was like partway between N and Lissandra, and I am honestly creeped out. The only thing I will say is it is not Silene. Silene seems to be good and pure. <laughs> so far. Okay. Speaking of Oh, wait. Okay. You picked Oshawott? Here's where Oshawott sits. There, look. <laughs> oh. Silene actually has some assistance this time. Silene is good and pure. Black chick, she'll remind us that she'll put us at it if we get injured every time we talk to her. Compared to the speech I just got from someone else... I got myself an apprentice to the Survey Corps, but going out there to collect materials it scares me half to death. How do folks keep themselves safe from wild Pokemon? They don't. Yet yeah, still, I'd say a little bit of Cyrus was thrown in there too. A lot. A lot of Cyrus. But as far as unique points... <laughs> they run. So you hear from my request about Croagunk? Remember the Diamond Clan told me they make medicine by diluting Croagunk's poison? Medicine made from Croagunk's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to give some to Buck. Uh, the poor gentleman's bedridden from back pain. 
I know how to make the medicine, so all I needed was some help getting my hands on Krogunk poison. <laughs> I'm only out to avoid spoilers, but now I'm caught up to you. I can watch all your body. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I, I have. Hmm. Later, nerd, have fun. Bye, netbug! Got a charming little face, hasn't it? I need a smidgen of your poison, please, Krogunk. Would you be so kind? Blorp! Gunk. Thanks very much! Now to whip up that medicine. I imagine it just kind of... Right down its chin. And she just wiped it up in a vial. There we ought to... And we have it. This ought to be super effective! <laughs> Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet we'd be able to help out an even greater range of people in Pokemon if we could set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon work side by side with us. Oh god, she's the proto-joy. I mean, I could tell from her hair, but... And her outfit. Of course, we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. I'm starting to think the Survey Corps work will help us in ways people aren't even aware of. Hassel, my poor back, it's screaming. One moment. I got a medicine that ought to be a great help. Looks like I'll have Buck up on his feet again thanks to you and Crow Gunk. But see, she's also like, what's her name, Mira? One of the, the stat trainers. If you attack my Pokemon or fall off a tall ledge or cliff, you'll black out for sure. Be careful out there. After a medicine that can cure Psyduck's headaches. Oh, you came to the right person. Take this. It's a secret medicine that only those from my hometown know how to make. Yay! <laughs> Produced by an apothecary in Cianwood City. As you see, it works wonders. Give it to any ailing Pokemon and they'll soon be right as rain. Even a Psyduck's headache will clear right up, I'm sure. You don't want to lay like that if your back is sore. Dum dum. No, no, I haven't. Sorry. Mm. Okay. It's the first freaking question. Okay. Uh... Oh, no, it's to be this one. Look at that. I can get a freaking suit now. Okay. Wait a minute. Isn't the... Oh, it's two different parts. Snow trousers, huh? Well, that'll be good. Mm. There's the Lilligant fancy bottoms. And Ursaluna fancy bottoms. Let's see. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's not blank! Props to the Galaxy Team. They come up <laughs> with tons of modern concepts used in the Pokemon world. Cons, do I need to spell it out? <laughs> That's nice. Stop skipping. Hmm. You know what? Here. And you know what? I'm going to be 
There. Gonna finally freaking wear some purple. Do I get... <laughs> of course, I, I was um, I was tempted by this. Twisted uh, white and red cord. Um, the um, symbolism of that as regarding a certain pairing is um, a little tempting. But, oh my goodness. Oh, here we are. <laughs> I'd better not go up there with my sandals. There we go. Check this action out. Let's see here. I can get wear a monocle. Oh, oh, neat. Oh, cool. Oh, that that is that is very nice. <laughs> that is very nice. All right, until morning. Galaxy <laughs> Team Uniform, I feel rude not wearing it on missions. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In my own home. Oh, I posted on uh, gaming details on Reddit the thing about the um, the shoes disappearing as you cross over the threshold of your house. Someone downvoted me. Wait, no, uh, never mind. Wait. Oh, look, the the map looks different now. Oh. I actually have to go talk to the commander. I'm all set to go to a snowy area, boss. If you send me somewhere warm, I'm going to be disappointed that I spent all this money. Footsteps sound a little different in heavy boots. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mire Lands. Yeah, it is a fun detail. Our next orders are to bring the survey to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Am I going to run into a ghost? No. We've had feeble reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We've also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. Okay, is that fire's pit or fire spit? 
These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate the desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. Is she also a ghost? I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Mm. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Mitsumi. Think nothing of it. Mitsumi is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she will sort things out. Indeed. Mitsumi called the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both her strength and her kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. Yes, I know. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther. And the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. Uh, it sounds like I might have brought the wrong gear. Someone's going to try to talk to me before I leave, aren't they? <gasps> yep, yep, I knew it. Is it Ray or is it Volo? Leon, huh? Uh, I... 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 I am blanking on how to do his accent. It's just a southern accent. I... <laughs> Uh, that is Mitsumi. I keep, I keep, I, I, I start to open my mouth, and for some reason, the accent that comes to mind is the one I do for Laventon, and I, I'm from the U.S. I should be able to do a southern accent. <laughs> So we expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Polina. I've heard that name before. She's a warden and she has no noble to see, too. There have been some people in the pro clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. I do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then. It's an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. Yeah, I know. You need look no further than Cleavor for proof of that. I'm trying to say it's basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon in this region, the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. Give it a tale of the stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sita used to create the universe. Is it red and found in Pixie's foreheads? Trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. Top grind this fact into you. Here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I've found. She just wants some stones to help the Pokemon evolve. I believe the Genko Guild has them from time to time. Yep, they do. Why am I blanking on how to do a southern accent? I... I, I don't understand. It should be so simple. What's this? Oh, the secret medicine. Okay. Okay. Okay, use Dazzler. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put stuff back in here then. The exact same thing happens to me. I try to do lines in this game and laugh into this all I can get. I feel like I, I just, I, I am having trouble figuring out why this is happening. Just, why is this going on? Oh, do you want to see something funny that I got in the, um, space time, uh, Space time rift. An upgrade. Why do I have an upgrade? I also got a magmarizer. Yes. <laughs> I also found one of these, a Seed of Mastery. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, actually, it'd probably help to go to there first. Okay, well, I could go over there. Yeah, yeah, they tricked me into thinking I was going to need a new snowsuit. Okay, come on. I've been waiting for you, kiddo. Let's get down to business. Have a look at that pseudo widow. It's looking pretty listless, so I gave it a whole feast of berries. It's waving at me. Even though it gobbles them up, it still seems like it has no energy at all. Isn't that odd? I figured it must be parched. After all, it's a plant. It's like a plant, right? It must need to be watered. Upgrades in technology fell through the rifts from another dimension, I guess. And we can just fire off a healthy water pulse at it. I'm sure it'd perk up in no time. You don't agree, but plants love water. I can't explain to him. I need a plant that could use water pulse so we can get pseudo feeling right as rain. Oh, you bastard. You know not what you reet. What you reet? Yo! You say you there! Could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from my landscape where this alpha hippowdon came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying. Now I can't find it anywhere. I've just gotta have it back. If you had a charm lying in the swamp, could you bring it back to me? Yeah, I know where the alpha hippowdon is. Okay, I don't have anything on me that knows water pulse. But I've been bound to have something over here, huh? Yeah, stop blaming Choi. It's Hua Ta or whatever his name is. Okay, do. Water pulse. There we go. Oh, there it is. Listen, buddy, I'm telling you. Wait. Oh, 
Oh, this is how people get multiple Pokemon out at once. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. Sue, Sue, Sudio. Side up, come on. Okay. You know the move. to talk to him first. Yeah. <sighs> this is so ass backwards. Get ready, pseudo oh, All your worries are about to be washed away for good. Guess we're doing this. I can't just tell him that you're a freaking rock type. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> I can't really. Not saying we're else very interesting name not like to delay, but I feel like your mind is gonna be blown. Oh. You got me curious. <laughs> I I can't I can't capture it. Alright. There's no choice but to win this battle. Uh, really? Okay, fine. <sighs> Maybe it doesn't like getting wet? Gosh, sorry I ran to near parade. Sorry, pseudo widow. Shopkeeper guy should explain Troy. It's Troy. We know how that ends. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you part of this, too. I thought I was helping, but when you get right down to it, I just didn't understand pseudo widow. Keep working hard on that Pokedex to educate poor fools like me, would you? Dipstick. Just cannot with you people. Should know, yeah, I needed to change up some of my party anyway. Okay. Okay. Oh, can I just. Yes! Yes! I would like to go to the Diamond Settlement! So you found a cure for my Psyduck. Let's give it a shot. Wow, the Psyduck look all better already! What a relief! Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but if you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. And what you call that stuff again? Secret medicine? Gosh, the Galaxy team must be very talented. Maybe I'll visit Challenge Jubilee sometime.
Yep. Oh, yeah, Adam is in a tricky position, oh my guess. He's never seen nor heard Almighty Sinnoh, yet we rely on him to lead our clan. And is he truly up to the task? I heard someone in the galaxy and cl calmed Lord Cleaver by defeating him in battle. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be angry. No, miss, you have reason to worry. <laughs> This is the franchise I devote my time to. I am here of my own volition. So, in a way, I am in part to blame for this bullshit. <laughs> I, I, I just... I am having... such a ridiculous time right now. Alder, I can see. Maxi is just hilarious. Well, it's really funny, especially considering that I'm pretty sure Alder is supposed to be Native American. <laughs> uh. Yes, I know he's got bright red hair and everything, but... I hear that sound. Lake Valor. Gosh, what an explosively beautiful lake! <laughs> Although I did always have Canon Alder as part Irish, which would explain his looks. <laughs> Oh, frick, that's the one it fights? But you're gonna be resistant to... Or just flat out dodge the whole thing. Okay, you know what? Fine. Sparkle Shine it is. Well, you know what? No, Dazzler needs some more levels. Yeah, Dazzler really needs some more levels. You know what? Here. Jedi has... Well, I guess electric moves wouldn't really do much, but it'll be neutral at least, so... There we go. Come on, 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 come on. For Valor's, I'm gonna take I'm gonna have to take a right out to the island and see if I can find Azel. Neat. Can you find the pixies, like, right when you find the lakes? Or right, right when you can surf on the lakes? Hmm. 
visitor dress for a day in the mountains, no less. Well, I mean, we're in the mountains now. I highly doubt it, but that would be sweet. It would. It'd be freaking sweet. Okay, there it is. Right. So, this river is coming from the lake. It's interesting. <laughs> Come on, Sparkle Shine. There we go. You can power through it. Must have closed up or been closed up. Yeah, look at all that, huh? Oh, hey, it's someone's pouch. on the other side here. No, do not follow. <sighs> Cause one of the Pokemon that mass outbreak is a different color from the others, yeah. That happens. Oh, I can even see the satchel! Neat. Yeah, see, when I first encountered this, I thought for sure this was, like, some sort of, um, uh, like, mystery dungeon type come rescue me sort of deal. But it's just built into the game. Ah, well. Sometimes I try to line up where things in this, where things are in this game to where they are in DP. It's weird how some things don't line up, but that's how landscapes work. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Now, if I'm going to be going somewhere that's like you know more geared towards frickin' here, let's take Murkrow though too. Geared towards frickin' um, water and fire though, huh? Because it's a fiery island. Uh. 
Because it's a freaking volcano. Okay. Um. Oh, it was, I wanted to look at these. Yes, that's right. Oh, goodness, it's like... Oh. Wait. Did... Okay, never mind. I thought it meant I had found it. Okay, well, there's... No, wait, that's not the alpha. Is it? No, that's just a rock. But it's around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so it's still over there. Hi, excuse me. I am just coming through. I'm just wanting to investigate this. Please do not attack. Everything's just running into me, huh? Come on. Pouch has got to be around here somewhere. You know, the thing is, I bet people who are just bound and determined to hate on modern Pokemon are going to use the thing about the map li not lining up completely as some sort of fuel against <laughs> this game. <laughs> Even though, you know, Passage of Time, Terraforming, etc. Whoa. Also, I'm pretty sure I remember how to do a southern accent now. Kind of weird that it would take so long to come to me. <laughs> I was kind of freaking out because I couldn't remember how to do one of the basic accents. I really hope that never happens during an audition or anything like that. Freaking come on. Frick. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? No. I'm heading straight back up to the base camp. I'm not going to get distracted by anything else. You've been a half hour too late, Leon. Yeah, I know, right?
Oh no, I thought it was. A... No, it is an unknown. Okay. Okay. There we go. Mmm. Oh, look. A tree felled on stone. A M um, among S T stumps and campfire ashes on F Firelds. Oh, on fields of gold. You remember me when the west wind moves upon the fields of glory. You can tell the sun in its jealous sky when we walked in fields of gold. There have been some that are broken. I swear in the days still left, we'll walk in fields of gold. God, I remember that song came out. I'm so freaking old. <laughs> I just hope it's not on that island out there. See, the thing is, I'm heading in the complete opposite direction of however he would have come, so... Ah, no, 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 you do not. It's in this area somewheres. Frickin' come on. Alright, there you go. Come on, satchels. I was just here, wasn't I? This night theme is one of my favorites. Yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> oh no! You too, huh? I guess. Um, yes, heavy ball. Huh? 
Yay! This is a pretty good tune itself. Uh, okay. Fusion. Gosh, I look absolutely miserable though. Look look at that. Look how drenched I am. Okay, I see it. I see it. I will run first. There we go. Get everything nice and cleared up. I think it's funny that I, you know, managed to catch a, a shiny hippo, uh, hippopotas when that's one that gets a lot of shiny confusion because it has, you know, such a distinct alternate. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. No, 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 Lordy Lou Oh yeah, just casually walk up to it like that, huh? Oh no, it's gonna engage me in combat regardless. I do not want to be engaged in combat with the Hippowdon. I have spent the last ten minutes trying to a frickin' avoid this thing. Okay, well, level 34 isn't actually all that bad, but let's see if I can just run. not it's not letting me run freaking hell don't you dare Favorite theme is the remakes of unwavering emotions they put over <laughs> emotional scenes. Wait. No, I, w I do want to throw a heavy ball. I think that was the solution to all our problems. You sure are something taking on a big angry Hippowdon like that. Wait, what's that lying over there? My, my charm, it's really you, welcome back. It's a lot to me that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Hippowdon on my behalf. Yeah, I was trying to sneak around it. You better believe I won't be losing this charm again. Not after all you went. You turned around all that trouble to get it back to me. You tie it to your belt. You know, like the one you have hanging from the Pokeball at your waist. Oh no, there's another one! Fuck. 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 No! No! <laughs> okay, I expected the really big one to be right up behind me.
I just want to go up to him and slap him. I just want to slap him real hard. Real hard. Real hard. Fire stone, ice stone, thunderstone, and more. Okay. Three revives. Some pep up plants. Uh, have a little very pressure to play this game. Problem solved. <laughs> Leaden ball. Okay. Well, there. Might as well. Okay. Okay, that was mission nine. I was going to say, I don't remember a mission nine. I still haven't found a cherim at all. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Pokemon caught for the first time. Sounds fun. Yeah. Okay. I want to return to the village. I feel like I got the short end of the stick with my outfit. <laughs> Okay, Anthe. Okay, let's here. Let's try this. bottoms so just shorts And I need a new hat. Let's see. Or should I go with something? I don't even know anymore. Yeah, sure. Let's go with the woven hat. <laughs> Okay.
And let's see here. Let's use that on Psyduck. Psyduck leveled up! Yay! Hmm. Alright. The Beachside Camp. We're gonna do this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I see one of those pop pop seeds. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon away to see, I wonder. Water types? Flying type, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Ah, I'll show you just as sad as I am to research the serious Pokemon. Let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? And Wardens, in fact. Here in the Cobalt Coastlands, we'll find Polina of the Pearl Clan and Iskin of the Diamond Clan. Oh, okay. Alright, I saw Iskin in the uh, trailers. Perhaps there'll be some help to you as you dig into these occurrences. Curious occurrences. Curious occurrences. Blah, 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 blah. Now, grab me. I'm one of those skittish Pokemon that runs away from humans real quick. I want to catch Pokemon like that. Smoke bombs and stealth sprays are your friends. They'll help hide you for the keen eyes and ears of even the scariest wild Pokemon. Hi, Irida. No, I said this one. Uh, taking one more step, and the plant in the background disappeared. <sighs> well, that's a new one on me. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. Here I am, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I need to understand my weaknesses. Please do this for me. Very good. You've seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. Really? I feel like I'm being cheated. Oh no, a strong style Eevee? <laughs> Come on, there we go. Okay. Let's see, get up two attacks, huh? <laughs> Move mastered, alright. Ah, now I feel better. 
The world is vast, and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. I'm, I'm like six feet from camp. It's like literally right behind me. All right. With you, I think I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. She tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should, be, you should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. I see someone up there. It's not going to be Polina. Or Perlina, or whatever her name was. Hello. Pokeballs can't reach Pokemon flying way up high, but feather balls are another matter. Oh, three feather balls. Nice. Feather balls fly pretty far, so they're great for catching Pokemon up in the sky. Sounds good to me. Look at him. Look at him rolling around. And I see a Scorpy back there, too. Yay! <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. Yay, look at that. Okay, and I also need to look for those pop-pop seeds. Oh, hey, it's beans. Uh-oh. That is not what I'm trying to get into right now. Frick. No, why'd you materialize over there? Oh, whoa. dang it. 
Nope, 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 nope. I'm not. That's that's the kind of trouble I stay out of. Oh, a wild moth him. I think I'm gonna head out happy exploring. Thank you. Thank you for coming. See you, Mercury. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, golly, it's like the middle of the night for you, isn't it? <laughs> uh. No. Um. Yes, throw a Pokeball. Do it! Do it, you coward! Hmm? <laughs> Yay! Oh, check that action out. Yeah, it's just what I'm trying to go over here to get. Did I just see... No. Okay, I didn't. I thought it said one of my Pokemon was ready to evolve, but no. Alright, let's see here. Okay, come on, Psyduck. You can do it. Okay. Maybe I should have taken that opportunity to run to the next- Oh, okay. Never a cop without being spotted. Something spotted me, though, hasn't it? Okay, let's see here. Come on. The vol keeps getting, or the the fruit, the berry keeps getting smaller and smaller as it does that. <laughs> so like shrink, shrink, and gone. Yay! <laughs> All right. Ooh, Dazzling Honey, and a Springy Mushroom, and a Spoiled Apricorn. Just turns around and sees me right as the ball hits its face. Yay. Freaking ball of mud, though, huh? <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay, Scorpy. Small specimen, okay. Fuck, I'm down. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Okay, fine. Fine. Fine, you brought this on yourself. Cross. Really? Wow, Sedek lost a lot of 
damage. Oh, goodness. Okay, go Dazzler. Let's try Dazzling them with, well, a Pokeball. <laughs> or not. I mean... Really? Sword Stance? Okay. Alright, you really wanna... You really wanna... Do me like that, huh? Mm. Gosh. I wish I wasn't getting that... Irritation. Kinda... Bothersome. My goal was to... Wear the... Galactic necklace up until I finished all of this stuff. I mean, initially, before we knew about b either remakes or this game, um, I was say, oh no, I was saying I was gonna wear it through remakes, and then they were like, oh hey, not only are you getting that, you're also getting deep lore. So it's like, yeah. Uh, but you know, you wear it that long and you just kind of get some problems. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yay, kitty cat. Dance, 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 dance. <laughs> I mean, we were all thinking it, right? Uh, just a little while. A few minutes. Couple, one, two. Okay, now what should we deal with today? Okay, so where is it that I saw... There's like a little red seed on the ground. And I want to know where it went. No, this is just a patch of flowers. So I'm seeing a lot of red things, but they're just... A the trunks of the trees, the roots. What's that over there? Oh, is that a starly? It is. I didn't expect to see one right here. Okay, I know she very specifically said to go left, but... A fat starly, my goodness. Yay. Huh? <laughs> ah, I see something unusual over here. Oh. But it's right by... Oh, it's just a chunk of something. Okay, never mind. I thought it was an unknown eye. Oh my. That is a nice big shiny thing up there. But you know what it is not is a shiny Pokemon. So why am I continuing to run towards it? I don't know. Oh, frick. Frick. 
Eric. No, 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 you do not. Oh. There's... There's, a. Oh, wow, that was just narrowly passing me. Um, so if there's floatzels here, does that mean I might find larger weasels? Ah, a bomb. Netbug, netbug, where are you? I found a palms. Netbug loves monkeys. So any sort of monkey Pokemon. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. Yay. What's this? Is this a sleeping Pokemon or is this a fungus? Oh, it's a sleeping Pokemon. Oh, it's another Apom. Haha. Is that? Oh no, it's a honey. Oh no, it is a pouch. Okay. This way. 100 merit points. Yay. I came this way because I saw a shiny thing that was not a shiny Pokemon. Meaning I should not actually... Oh. It seems as though nobody's home. Oh, this must be where, uh... Well, one of the... One of the wardens lives. Okay. Frick! My finger fell off the... My finger fell off the thingy. The, the button. Oh, it disappeared. Oh well, I can get this unattacked then. And a berry. Neat. Oh, hello there. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and curly it can evolve. There we go. Sky tumble start iron chunk. Huh. 
I hope that, like, if any of my viewers ever have a problem with me, something I said, something I done, you know, something I done. What? Well, there's one thing. <laughs> Improper use of the English language. That you would talk to me about it. And, you know, can avoid any issues like what happened with me earlier. I don't, I just don't understand what went wrong. It's just one of those things, you know? People just need to be more open with each other. Um, people have told me that I'm too blunt, but, you know, that I'm too confrontational, but my point in being, you know, open and honest with things like that, you know, things with having problems with other people is to avoid confrontation. You know? Hopefully get, you know, things out in the open and so we don't have a lot of problems. <laughs> That's how I always see it. I had someone talk to me saying I, I come off as, like, overly critical sometimes. Um... And, you know, I, I think that's um, fair enough, but I, I guess I just don't really see that as being what's happening, you know what I mean? Well, I've got to catch some small specimens anyway. But, you know, here, I'll keep you around you some more draining kiss. Oh, okay, I do have to... I mean, hunched up. Oh god, is this a... It is. I see the red eyes. <laughs> ah. Oh, fuck. Level 50. Level 50! I just want to go like this and avoid you entirely. I just want to get to the pouch that's over here, okay? That is all I want. And then I'm going to have to come back this way. You know what? It's after 10 and I haven't had dinner yet. Yeah, you know what? So what? I'm not actually all that hungry. For once. <laughs> I like yeah, hi there. there it is, right here. Oh, yeah, I definitely do not want to end up in the water. Yep. Love you. Love you too, Ma. Good night. can't really get up there right now, can I? So, since this is around the rough, sunny shore area, does that mean I'm going to be able to find some chatots around here at some point? Oh my goodness, look at look at Amber Palm.
I just want to use regular heavy balls. Which took me almost in a complete circle. Oh, that's right. I've got to get much closer. <laughs> oh my god, I hit that thing in the frickin' back. I have to go take it to get that procedure with the with the tox with the crow gug poison. Almost a toxic croak. Okay. There. Frickin' no! Oh, hello. Honestly, where did he get off to? Whoa! Excuse me! Have you seen a fellow from the construction corps named Yorick? Do you know him well? Ah, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Do you mind helping me track him down? I'm waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. Ooh. Okay, come on. I hear something going on. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. I knew something would be right in this crevice. How do you know that I'm here? Okay, I think I see one of those things here. Okay. Um, night Slash? <gasps> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, stop switching to lead and balls! Come on, I'm only happy about this because I'm really hoping to get a weasel that's, you know, two foot eight. Okay, is this one of those seeds? It be! Oh, damn. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, might as well use some grit dust, yeah? Pop pod! Okay, come on. Give it to me. Yay! Oh, that was a... Okay. This freaking guardian of the land here, huh? <laughs> come on, I gotta find some freaking chat outs around here, yeah? Oh. Is that a Togepi? <gasps> oh my lord! <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I really have to be sending um, Trulia out more often because I've got to get that. Uh... But no, I gotta get that draining kiss thing in. Okay, Staravia. Um. Okay, well I gotta figure out how to get Dazzler to freaking evolve, so. Flame Wheel! Okay, defeated Staravia. There. Okay, let's see. What can we do now? Let's see. Maybe I can send her up against that. Oh, of course I freaking do. Ah, it's just bug wart. It's not really a deal breaker. Oh. Ah! Oh, he's up for a fight, are ye? Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Come on! Level 35! My goodness gracious! Okay, let's see here. Thunder wave! Thunder wave! Wave it all around. Okay, um... Yes. Just, just throw. Just throw like your freaking life depended on it, yeah? Which it may. There we go! Thank you, Golduck. Okay, what's the item? Grit dust. Okay, let's see if there's anything I can actually get rid of. Uh, oh. There. I have never used the um, rotten apricorns. Okay. Um... Okay. Yeah, let's go with some special attack, yeah? Oh, wait. Okay. It's Jedi, there you go. There's a shipwreck up ahead. Look at that. No, it's not like I get Link's far seeing ability. <laughs> I know you can evolve. Okay. Yay! And I can get bug wart now. <laughs> hey, hey, you caught beautiful fly unawares. Sure did. I sure did. Oh, I 
Okay. Why are you down there? Almost in the water, dummy. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I'm gonna have to get all the way over that cave, huh? Look right above my hat. Uh... Curlia, how is your defense so bad? Okay. Seriously, Curlia, come on! Okay. Aerial Ace. Seriously, Curlia, we're gonna have to have a stern talk. I know it's basement uh, for more grid dust, huh? Okay, what can I get rid of? Uh, okay, well. Get defense! Goodness. Yeah, I should, I should heal her up, of course. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. What's that? Oh, it's a plant. What's this? Oh, it's a stump. No, 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 oh. But this means that I am in their domain. Not during daylight hours, nice. <gasps> There's another one. There's a lot of ships here. I thought there was just gonna be like one big, one like really big shipwreck. But I guess these aren't shipwrecks, are they? These are. They might be. It's hard to tell right now. I'm gonna catch so many little birds! So many little parrots! So many little parrots! I heard another one from this way. Ba -ba. There we go. Come quick, Okay, let's see what I can craft right now. Oh, I should be using some of these. Okay. 
me see. Can I get under here? And oh yes, there is something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And is this a treasure chest? <laughs> Stealth spray. But I don't have room for a bean cake, huh? Huh. How long does stealth spray last? Okay, and I can just run up and get some of these. And I'm going in the complete opposite direction that anyone told me to, but... Ch chat uh, they're, they're a priority. They are. Oh, okay. And I can make a camp surrounded by them. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting. Like I said, I need your help finding Yorich from the Construction Corps. He and I came out here to send up, set up a base camp, but then he went off on his own to get the lay of the land and he hasn't come back. Yorick ought to be somewhere, still be somewhere nearby. Behind him, please tell him to come back here already. Okay, so it just redirects me to that area. Okay, I was kind of hoping he'd be, you know, just right out here. Something in the water's making a splash. <laughs> yep. Oh. Hello. Fancy meeting you here. Making a splash, making a splash, making a splash. Yeah. Uh, Ultra Ball. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. <laughs> oh look! It's on a little raft! Okay, absorb. Oh no! Oh, fooey. Honey, honey, we're trying to catch these things. Okay. Well, if I'm gonna be knocking shit out anyway, I might as well do it with a very tight move. Ah, I see another... I 
see another wisp. Oh, am I ever am I gonna be able to get to it? Probably not. Ah, oh, is that the guy I need to find? A talking Pokemon? Yeah, help me! Help me, help me! It's just a chat -out. <laughs> Stay away! No way, stay! <laughs> Why is this Pokemon talking? Talk? Talk? No, the opposite! Help me! Help me! No, no, Mom, Mom, no, it's, it's a line from the game! I was reading the line from the game! A character is asking for help! Okay. Uh, I would think that I was doing an old man voice would kind of give that away. Let's get your cares. <laughs> help me! Help! <laughs> la, la, do, 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 do. I just mimic, but it failed. Okay, hypnosis. Wild chat out grew drowsy. Good night. Yes! Yes! We're gonna use the Ultra Ball we just found! <laughs> uh, thank goodness! I don't know if I'd have survived without you! It's just a talking parrot. Now tell me there'd be Pokemon that talk like people out here! What a fright! Back where I grew up, folks often says if you hear someone talk when nobody's around, it's not a ghost playing tricks, it's just a chat out. Anyway, thank you kindly for finding Yorick. I'll have him set up camp now. Up to ready and lift! And lift! And lift! <laughs> oh, finished! Sure, the awful voice I heard mimicking me was just my imagination. Hey, big time young survey core recruit, come take a rest here at camp anytime you like. <laughs> what a splendidly scenic base camp. So it'll be quite convenient for surveying Pokemon that live on the waterfront. You know what? Here. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's the level 34 chat -out. Oh my, look at that. Oh no, I have to defeat I have to defeat ten of them. <laughs> or I have to defeat fifteen, but I have to use electric moves ten times. Okay, well, let's return to the village then. We have to walk all the way back. It's yep, still somehow the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Hey, Captain! I found the perfect pet for your perch there. <laughs> Seems you've earned yourself a star. <laughs> With this, you have officially attained the rank of six star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. I, I already used an Ultra Ball. 
Have these as well. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Yes, ma'am. I got myself appointed to the apprentice to the supply corps, but going out there to collect materials leaves me scared half to death. Coward. <laughs> That'd be one of those things where it'd just be me, like, oh, that's right, I gotta give what's his face in the basement some of these seeds. This is calling this guy a coward, but then, like, cut to me. A little bit earlier, flailing around, ah, trying to get away from everything. <laughs> if you gather rare materials from far-flung places, you'll be able to craft all sorts of items. Yeah, I know. Oh, if it isn't the survey car recruit who called the Lady of the Ridge, what can I do for you? <laughs> You're running errands for Choi again? Sending a customer to negotiate for him once was bad enough, but twice where's his spine? Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to get pot pots. Sheesh! Hey, you got pot pots? Would you let me have some, please? Just three. Pop pods, the Cobalt Coastline's finest feature! You'll often find these fine sea vegetables washed ashore. They're best known as a, a key ingredient in scatter banks, those lively items for scaring off Pokemon. Alright, I want to send you back to try a failure since you kindly brought me these pop pods. Tell them I'll set up with some new wares. <laughs> Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. Yeah, I only have 4,000p right now. Okay, it, it, stop changing the camera angle on me! I'm telling you, right? Got new guts in stock, thanks to you. I know I know all this has caused you some bother. I do hope he and I can thaw things out at last. Thanks to you, got some excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. Okay. Mm. Well, here. Take some of this silky sand. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Sleeping in my own bed. Ah. <sighs> Oh yeah, that's right. I need to check to see the weasels that I caught. Okay. I guess that was the only weasel I caught, huh? Okay, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna evolve Curlia right now. <laughs> I 
All right. And what move did you get the calm mind, huh? Okay. Ow. Hmm. Uh, let's confirm. There we go. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, what we're gonna do... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. Mild. Okay, well. You knew I was gonna. gonna okay Let's give this a shot, shall we? Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Wait, what was I... What did I put a, pl a flag for over there? Okay. Well. Let's try it, shall we? It's one of these Burmies. Okay. Hurt by my own parrot. That that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go up the slope here. Pardon me. Oh, okay. Seriously. Okay. Inch, inch, inch. Okay. Did the other one swoop in like that? Yay! <laughs> I 
<laughs> come on, come on. Distracted by freaking mud balls, really. Mud balls. The vendor trash. Well, no, I guess spoiled apricorns are the vendor trash, aren't they? I just wanted to be helpful. Uh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who called the Lady of the Ridge? Listen to this. A couple of A-bombs stole my pack full of goods. <sighs> I've been darting around leading me on a chase. I'll just like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my pack back from those A-bomb? Okay, where'd they go? Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. There they are. Already? Oh, it's going to make me do battle with them, huh? Okay. Or they're just going to run. Yep. Okay, where... Oh, there they are. Wow. You see that? It just disappeared right into the wall. The sound effect kept going. Okay. You couldn't have done this from the beginning. Go, Athena! Okay, uh, Mimic. Failed? Doesn't it just repeat the previous move? I don't understand. Okay, uh... Okay, let's see here. Swift. Okay. Flame wheel. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> really? Okay, um... Jedi, let's try you. Okay. Frickin' hell, come on. I can't catch them? I feel ripped off. I could catch... Like, I can catch some of the story ones. Like, I got Scott Athena. Uh. 
frickin'. Of course you did. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, well, I see you chased down the APOM. I probably brought them back here by their tails. The goods are all safe, thank goodness. How are they carrying that? How can I repay you? Let me think. There's one of them hiding in there. What's got in you looking so meek all of a sudden? Are you actually feeling remorseful? I, I. All right, all right. No hard feelings. Just stop with a little sad look. You're making me feel real bad. I just hope you learned your lesson. No more pranks, please. Oh, come on. You couldn't even wait till I was done scolding you. I, I. Took my pineapple berries. I was saving those for later. It goes to show you can't let your guard down around Pokemon. Okay. I'm back here? Why am I back here? Spoiled apricorn. My goodness, who is using spoiled apricorn? Frickin'. Haha, <laughs> 150 points. Okay, come on. Okay, so you're gonna actually have a purpose out here then? Come on, let me... I can't... I can't address you in any way? I can't speak to you? Good sir? I don't... I'm fixing to get a lot of key items then, aren't I? Gracious me. Uh, let's Okay, well, there's that. I don't want spoiled apricorns. Oh my god. Uh, really? Come on. You think you can take me? Really avoided the attack, huh? Oh. oh, wild goodness. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I am not going to waste my time. 
Okay. Uh, I can't make any of these because I don't have a cake lure base, huh? Huh. My goodness, I've been streaming for over four hours now. I remember when this just just a pipe dream, you know, nothing was working. And even when when it did, nobody was watching. Frostberry, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh, no, there's two of them. Oh, well. Should be able to get this over with. Pr Unless it keeps missing. Fucking hell. Come on. Nope. Nope. We're getting out of here. Oh, frick, 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 frick. Thank you. Thank you. And I need iron chunks. Uh, no, the, okay, everyday items. Come on. Yes, come on. Okay, mm. yeah, I know, I know. Really? Really? Come on. Is that enough? Is that enough? Is it enough? Oh, hey. Someone's satchel? It is. It be! now. Settle down. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan. And who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when none other could quell their fury. Your strength must be, must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? 
We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He's rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which of these growls would you say is the previous lord's child? I was going to say the small one, but... So what everyone says at first, but no. This quiet, skittish growl is this the child of the previous lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I can never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the pro clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let, it, let him live his life as he wishes. So that in, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Ah. Uh, did Iridith ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Hmm. <laughs> A survey of Fire Spit Island, I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. I need the aid of a Pokemon known as a Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Isk and a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. The shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign the heavens are angry. I worried we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pro Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still others who offer a false image of it. How about I digress? I do apologize. Iskin lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. There's gotta be something up this way, right? Okay. Yeah, but I ain't going down there. Run roughshod! You know what? Let's just warp back. <laughs> Hold on, did I just see- yeah, Bather's Lagoon. Evans to Betsy, okay. Okay. Let's head down the while here. There's something strange over here. What is this? Oh, it's a bean. Of course you bring me here.
You know what? Screw it. I am not going that way. Ugh, come on. Why did I throw one of those? I don't get it. Come on, one of you guys has to be over two foot six or two foot eight, yeah. <sighs> I think I see a satchel over there, over by the floatzel. Okay, yes, pay me no mind. It is a satchel, very good. The music for being attacked by a Pokemon is, like, really, or being targeted by one, is really, like, upbeat and quirky compared to, you know, anything that's actually happening. Ah, uh, damn it, I think it... Except this way... Uh... Okay, yeah. So I need to go back up the other way. What are you doing here? Why, hello there, Miss Mitsui. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? <laughs> no need to be humble, I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting these plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The one that's said to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? It told them to? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more. Please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Okay, it's decided. We kill Volo. Oh. Do I get... Oh! Old verse number three. Yes! No claws, nor fangs, no strength to claim. No man could hope to hold his own to mighty Pokemon. 
But bolts of light rained down one day ten times they fell. Ten times struck through true upon ten Pokemon. Then to weak man did these ten turn, his strength to be and all were blessed by loyal Pokemon. Were not these bolts a gift to man? Were they not your almighty grace, great Sinnoh Paragon? I mean, I don't freaking know. Do you? <laughs> and I realize, yes, there are probably people in the comment section who are gonna be like, ah, whack jack! Okay, was not expecting that to happen. Um. Okay, um. Yes, let's throw a feather ball. And I want to open something really quick here. Um. Okay, whoa! Okay, was not expecting that to happen. I was just checking on Twitch to see if Hat Function was still streaming. But if he is, I have a feeling he's going to be trying to wrap up pretty soon. But who even knows? Anymore? My goodness, I'm going for four and a half hours. Luna never did show up, but I guess she's probably really tired after work. I don't want spoiled apricorns. Nobody does. <laughs> okay. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me, give me a moment. So, um... I'm Iskin of the, of the Diamond Clan. A, a galaxy team member with a, with a Celestica flute. Oh, oh, you, you must have been seeing me, right? Have I done something to warrant your visit? Oh, a sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope to give me advance notice in the future. So, why why are you here? Oh, so so you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Uh, if you insist, you probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should help uh, help warm up to you. I think because he's repeating words. I think they forgot the ellipses between help and help. <laughs> the praying is favorite. Oh, it's um more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible. If I'm being honest. I'll, I'll tell you, I have, I have the right materials, but then uh, you uh, you see this next part is something I can never manage, but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Oh, you, you really want to know? You, you really don't value your own life, do you? It's... D is it Dust Noir? D... D Dusclops. Even saying its name fills me with dread. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Dusclops' dark pulse. It's the only way you can make Basque Legion's favorite food, you see. This is everyone in the galaxy team like you. Your nerves aren't just steel, they're, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how fearless you are. Just... I can't even say it. Well, the, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. And Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll, you'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. 
I, I, I tried very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, and so now I know a lot about them, you see. Um... Oh, heavens. Dust bops, that, um, dust bops, I guess you don't have it with you. Does it look like a hand? Let me see. Oh, okay, the whole area. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> it's almost morning, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let me see what I can find by morning. No. Not y I have one of you. Come on. Oh. Let's see. <gasps> There's one. Okay. Dust bops. About that, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Yay, check that action out, yeah. Dust bops. <laughs> this is what I want to do. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want. No, I don't want to fight two of them. I don't want to fight two of oh, you. Night Slash, come on. Blim. Okay, come on, 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 come on. do here yeah, it's like 40 or 42 that you evolve right yes throw a feather ball please I've actually been doing a pretty good job keeping up narrative um, ever since Mercury left, so that's good at least, right? It's sinking into the ground. Look at that. Oh, come on. Yes, throw a feather ball. My goodness gracious. Oh my 
goodness. No. Oh my god, you can even hit me from in there. Okay, get get out, get out. <sighs> There's gonna be a giant chat out at some point in there. I do not want a ball of mud. A ball of mud is not acceptable to me. I cannot imagine the kind of person it is acceptable to. I, I, I would prefer not. Y yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Love you too. Oh, frick, frick. Okay, well, no. Okay, come on, come on. Run, 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 run. Hey, mister, I found your dusk bops. And I'm riding roughshod through the forest on a bear. Roughshod through the forest on a bear. Did, did, did you bring it? You know, the, the Pokemon with a name that sounds like um, Dust Bops. You really brought it? No, no, don't, don't bring it out. Right, right. I guess, I guess I've got to do my part seeing how um, determined you are to you know, go to, go to that island with Basque Legion. Usually I, um, ask Polina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time you'll need to help since, well, since we're making the snacks so that you'll be ex accepted by Basque Legion. W w once I give the signal, you have that dusk bops of yours use its dark pulse. Kind of surprised he's not, like, fully on the other side. Three, two... Oh, no, it's too frightening. All right, so so counting down just to it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's, let's simply have you do it when I say go. <sighs> and go. A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. A ball of Basque Legion food. 
This food is crafted in an unusual way for ingredients gathered equal, via equally unusual methods. <laughs> they would so, no sooner dance with a goat than divulge this information. <laughs> but the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of basculation food. Mate, let's make for Gingo Landing. We can summon basculation there. I'm, like, really close to one of these little things, aren't I? In fact, I believe it's that right there. There it is. There we go. Okay, let's go to the beachside camp. Then we can... Rest for a few minutes. Sorry, excuse, pardon, freaking cats. Pardon me. You put my life in danger for a candy truffle? Really? Really? Oh, hello, Matsumi. I, I was just waiting for you. Skin. Oh, Pol Polina, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. Oh. I'm sure Mitsumi can keep a secret. Besides, both the guy and the growless pups were eager to meet with the great Basque Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. seems to play it differently. Like, they they wiggle it. But, like, when Mai played it, she had, like, her hand out a little. <laughs> Go on, Mitsumi. You can give the food to Basque Agent now. You threw in the ball of Basque Legion food. Oh. <sighs> the great Basque Legion. Oh, I th thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. So, um, Timmy, you should let Basque Legion hear you're playing. Basculation opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the splash plate from Basculation. The essence of water. And wetness is the essence of beauty. <laughs> now you can ride Basculation across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. Hello, illustrious rocket! I was just about to end stream, actually. 
My congratulations to you, Mitsumi. Kalina, do, do you want to tell her? I mentioned to you before how the previous lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskin and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskin here. I truly adore him. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So, I try to meet with Iskin where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Okay, so now that I've actually got somebody in chat, I want to run a theory by you, and I think... Okay. The problem is, the theory I have about Iskin is related only to the anime. <laughs> Dark skin, blue hair, affinity for water. He's one of the people of the water, isn't he? <laughs> well, he was he was in one of the trailers. So, yeah, I could see it, yeah. <laughs> Better than Captain Crunch. <laughs> I am assuming you mean Phantom. Who also had dark skin, blue hair, and an affinity for water with the only... in the only movie that ever mentions the people of the water. And yet they never made any sort of formal connection. Not even a throwaway line. Perhaps. But nonetheless, after that day I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it's all thanks to the courage he showed me, Iskin. Uh, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. As I know, that wasn't even tied to him on the movie's website. The same place that mentioned Alberto and Tonio were classmates for the Dark Army. So much for ending stream. <laughs> I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister, and I want clover you can't pick. Here comes Team Rocket to extend the episode by 12 minutes. Heads I win and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We're the misfortune sisters known across the frigid land of Hisui, and your luck's just run out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. They <laughs> just always first they didn't make all three of these the commanders, though. <laughs> and they would have been a little too on the nose, yeah? <laughs> it, yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Charmed was used to a grumpy shopkeeper. Choi isn't really all that grumpy, except for when the, the other guy's brought up. <laughs> eh, taking the big one, aren't you? Yep. Because the little one's got to fulfill his duty as the next lord. <laughs> Thanks for the Growlithe, fools! We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the Great Land of Hisui, we need to have powerful Pokémon on our side. Well, what kind of life is it you want? Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Oh god, I'm going to the Boil Land Volcano, aren't I? What? No! Growlithe!
What, what should we do, Mitsumi? This is an emergency, right? But you see, um, never, I've, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Mitsumi, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt Coastlands that seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Well, you know who she looks like to me? With her hair flippy and the ribbon. She looks like Aerith Gainsborough. <laughs> <laughs> I won't make the one wicked angel reference like what to not yet. I'm gonna guess that's some endgame shit, huh? Uh <sighs> Oh, damn it. You know what I just... Fuck. So I was... I was telling people earlier about how a streamer... The, the streamer I watched most last year. Um, I wake up this morning to find that I've been blocked from her Discord. I've been banned from her Twitch channel. And on her Twitter, she's talking about how it's okay to ban people if they don't suit your vibes. And... I just, yeah. At one point, she had been playing Kingdom Hearts, and she was saying she was going to play Final Fantasies at some point. No, I, 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 I was talking about it earlier in stream. Um, I'm not mentioning her name. Yeah, <laughs> but she, she had been playing Kingdom Hearts. She doesn't know anything about Final Fantasy, and she was saying she did not trust Aerith. Uh, especially at the end of the first game when Aerith meets up with Cloud and it's pretty clear that they're, you know, close. She's like, she's hanging out with that guy that tried to kill us and that she's up to something. And I said, so, you think there's going to be some backstabbing? And the whole chat was just like, So I said, hey, I didn't spoil anything for Kingdom Hearts. And now when she actually finally does get around to playing FF7, I am never going to see her reaction. I am never going to see the payoff. I was looking forward to it. <sighs> Frickin' hell. Oh, n now that you have Basket Legion to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Uh, please, c can you help it? Can you find it in you to help Polina? Well, yeah, they fucked up somewhat. Oh god. Someone's Doki Doki literally trick uh, stream by correctly guessing the big twist early on as a joke, so I feel that. You know, I kind of accidentally, like, wandered into it. Because, um,. At the end of the first story section, I was saying, yeah, I had no idea what would happen and made a joke that was correct. Oh, God. Netbug can attest I figured out one of the uh, massive twists in a mystery dungeon game just while I was bullshitting. But anyway, though, I figured out partially uh, the Doki Doki twist because I said, what's her name? The first girl, Sayori. I said, that does not look like a body that's been hanged. That looks like someone killed her and hung her up. <laughs> Which is kind of what happened. Kind of. <laughs> Make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. Okay, is it Fire's Pit or Fire Spit? Like that she's going to go crazy and kill Yuri out of jealousy and then kill herself. Oh, God. <laughs> no, Polina, you should wait here and keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. 
Though I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with li lightning and bandits. And... No, I'm coming to me. No time to think. We must go now. You should also know the basculation can jump from the water surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. Fire spit like Spitfire reversed. You can throw items from basculations back to. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit I'm still a little scared. Do you think you can head over first? Are you just gonna swim? You're probably gonna swim. Wait, when Basque Legion jumps in the air, you'll have more time to adjust your aim before you throw- Do I have arrow time? <laughs> hmm? I still don't know. I don't know. I still think Cyrus would use a Basket Legion if he could. <laughs> well, I mean, Cynthia's the one that uses the whole, you know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Can you legitimately not change the save screen photo? Um, I think I have to get my photo taken for that. And I don't know. I did. Did you see that? The tree flapping around in the distance. Look at that! Look at that! Look at them go! Look at them go! <laughs> I fought an invisible parasect earlier. <laughs> like it only came into view at certain angles. This game has funny graphic bugs. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, what might you be? What? Hey. Mantike. Ah, neat. I said through the phrase was straight phrase of the anime I watched recently. Funny graphic bugs? Or the phrases the world must be free from bugs is repeated a lot. Okay. Wait a minute! Look at that thing! I'll tell you later, lol. Look at them! I didn't know you guys got a Hisuian variant. <laughs> oh, they're all just little angry bastards, aren't they? Ooh, hey, okay. I'm gonna need to break into there at some point, aren't I? Oh! Oh, no. Nowhere around me, I ho Okay, it's up there. Oh, good. I don't even need a break in. I just need to go th straight through here. I saw something really funny earlier. Something that I... Ah. Uh. Okay, I see Reggie Gigas. Um, I see Cresselia. Tonight plot hints. Go, go, go. Well, here, let me... Uh, because I took a photo of it. Oh, wait, did I... I didn't take a photo of it. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't. But in the, um, diamond camp? Okay, let's see. 
Okay, I see. okay, okay. That's not for the bachelor stuff. Okay, in the diamond camp, I saw pictures on the wall. There is one picture that looks a lot like Alder, and another picture that looks exactly like Maxie, only older and somehow grumpier. Yeah. Okay, I see Chriselia, um, Manaphy. Uh, Cleavor, I think, possibly. Uh, Darkrai? Dialga, maybe? Oh, okay, yeah, that's Giratina, yeah. The one under it seems to be Mewtwo. Okay, I don't know what the one next to... Okay, not Lucario. I don't... Lucario is not a legendary, though. All these other ones, although, then again, the one on the far side, the, the all round one, um, could only be like an electrode or something. Regigigas under that one. Um, as elf. The the mysterious thing again. Uh, Palkia. Darkrai again. Is that weird ear underneath it? And I don't know. I, I I honestly have no idea. This is really weird. Oh, okay. I thought there would be a cave. Oh. Hello. No! Okay. Important Pokemon, legendary or not. Yeah, that's true. Maybe Heatran is there. I looked again. <gasps> Hello, I know someone looking for you. Ch I did not change focus. So he is in it. I was wondering about that. Is what? Heat ran? Shellos, yeah. Um, you're asked for a quest from uh, Anthe. Or Antha, or however. However you say it. It probably shouldn't be Anthe, considering what I named my. Um, my. Um, uh, Rose Raid in. Uh, in um in bits but, uh, no why are you taking up space it my inventory <laughs> porygon in ancient time yeah it came through one of those rifts yeah another space time distortion why is it that i can imagine charm making clover and coin do all the rowing And this is why Zero had to be put in jail. He had to be put in jail because he was trying to kill everyone. <laughs> he was trying to Ultimisha himself. He broke space time and you can't arrest an ancient Greek Gendo. <laughs> Someone had to take the play. Oh. I, um... Had to name her after my girl. <laughs> Badoo, this is probably the wrong place for you. Uh, 
Fire spit island. It's certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? Now we got a ghost and bandits to deal with on top of the heat. I'm very sorry, but do you, do you think you could lead the way, Mitsumi? Poor Growlithe. I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him right now. Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, Psyduck, use water pulse. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Okay, try this. Okay, uh... I cannot describe in words how much I like the new equipping moves mechanic. Yeah, it's really neat. It's, uh, versatile. The ball's just sinking into the ground here. This is how smooth a lot of the gameplay flows. Yeah. Okay, is that a carving or is it just markings? I guess it's just markings. But it looked like it had like a loop to loop at the top. Oh, Firestone, huh? Okay, well, let's see here. Looks like texture to me, yeah. Okay, do I have anything else? Oh, I can use Grit Dust. You know what? I have a Magmarizer. I can just freaking use that. Like, right... Oh, hello. Uh, or not. Uh, uh, okay, or not. <laughs> Meanwhile, Weird Ear made for, uh, some, uh, oh, oh, hello there. Okay, so this is where Papa used to work. <sighs> you know, the real bad guy is, uh, the guy who sells you the satchel expansion is total fucking con artist. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, this looks like metal, and I feel like if I step onto it, my shoes are going to melt, but I also know that's not going to be a game mechanic. Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework! Any Pokémon's gutsy enough to come to this lava trap is supposed to evolve, so get on with it already! You will become stronger, like it or not. He's <laughs> like the ancestor of the Magikarp salesman. <laughs> oh look, the past again. Stand back, sisters! I'll take care of her! Go, Obama Snow! Smash this full to pieces! This scene feels familiar at the animal's pitch from the heat. Ugh. Making that face really brings out that she's wearing kabuki makeup. <laughs> Runs in the family, huh? Got a little, um, uh, little galactic -y tone to their battle music. No, it does not computer sounds even better. But also a little, you know, gym music, 
but you know, it's got that baseline. Oh look, I can see the space time distortion from here. I don't get it on those. Hubris. That's the cause of most of your problems. You know, a pomus can't fuck into full power and crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. We're basically going easy on you. In fact, I dare you make poor Obama Snow battle in such a stupidly hot place. You're the one who sent out Obama Snow Sister. Go on then, Taxicroak. Pile out some poison for her and welcome guest. We're doing this again. She actually does use the Toxic Rook, yep. Frick! Yeah, this might be a bad pick for her too because it. C oh, wait, no abilities. <laughs> Them to say dry skin but yeah, would make it weaker to fire. <laughs> this is before abilities were discovered. Uh, what a blithering moon calf I am. How could I let myself lose? I've never heard that expression before, and it makes me wonder if that. Well, she didn't capitalize it, so it wouldn't be a Pokemon. I have dry skin, I need natural cure. <laughs> The um, the one that stands out to me from those is I swallow sludge to transform myself. I have a growth of suction cups. I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. You'd say that I do. It stands out. I did warn you, didn't I, that I had a score to settle with the Galaxy Team? All well, the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work. I'm gonna make you pay for every last slight. Because of course I named it Jedi. Of course I did. That's what someone was saying. Uh, they were saying either Agatha or Bertha. But it's also, you know, can't really tell. It's like from Agatha and Bertha are related. Is this both? <laughs> Gengar and Rhydon. Oh lordy Lou. Be funny if they're only related this far back, though. Oh, Badoo, I thought you would be in over your head, but... I mean, you might still be, but... Oh no, I guess not. Hypnosis, huh? Yeah, okay, all right, I got in two moves in a row, you get in two moves in a row. Gonna be doing it, but I finally resilient and replaced it, and I had a lot of money, so I pumped up its moves immediately. What a disgrace. How, how could all of us have been... Hey, Charm, I healed up a bomb snow and Queen's Taxi Croak. Good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. Oh. No one invited you, Tiny. Since who actually healed to keep going, finally. You're really gonna insist on getting in the way, you little runt. Cow! Take him down, Toxic Croak. <laughs> I know it's hot, but hang in there, Obama Snow! Smash that runt! Growl 
Lilith, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. Polina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little girl with. I was, but then he jumped in the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. The ocean? He was terrified of the ocean after it swam, swallowed up the former lord, his own father. <laughs> I knew it. I knew the, the whole thing with ghosts. We were gonna end up. And I say this city smooth voice from the dub when Queen talks. Wow! Oh! Ah, yeah, here we go. I've heard bad things about this. Is it just finally going to be the foo dog? It always wanted to. A unicorn foo dog! Looks like he finally found his courage. The Light Lord's child, he's evolved. His true bravery, not lay not in crossing the sea, but in fading the strength to face hardship head on. So, look, okay, even with the pink ribbon behind her head. You gotta be joking me! What the puny one evolved? Uh, sisters, something's not right. Okay, I was expecting the volcano to be doing some shit. Uh-oh. And I haven't gotten a chance to heal. Oh boy. What? Polina, stay back. I've heard of people get driven to the point of wanting to quit the franchise over this fight. Uh oh. What's happened to him? Strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzied just like the other nobles. This is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. Ugh. Everything was going just as we'd wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything. Enough of the sisters. We leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. Hey, wait, this is all your fault. Remember the other girl with it's right there. It's right in the middle. We should get out of here, Polina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Urkanine. Come on, Mitsumi, we should hurry. Oh, okay. I do get to run. Lena! What are you gonna do about Growlith? I mean, Arcanine. How did you know? That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it is my duty to protect him as everything I have. Mitsumi, what must we do to quell his frenzy? Please tell us what we need. The character looks like Serena. She looks like May to me. Actually, she looks like Biken from Guilty Gear, but... We need to make some balms. Balms? Irida, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it so surprising that I know a little more of these things than you, Lena? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware you are our leader, Irida. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? You, who can use the Celestica Flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the farthest reaches of Vastasui. I've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. You can make balms, pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favorite foods, and throw them from a safe distance. Isn't that right, Mitsumi? Well, uh, in that case, I, I do always carry some of Grella's favorite foods with me, so we, we can thank him when he uses his flames to help prepare Basculegion's favorite meal. You are just giving away all your secrets, boy. It's like the short hair Serena in the anime did. Uh -huh. My iskin. Once again, your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can make those palms right away. Yeah, let, let's get right to work. <laughs> They're ready. Here are the palms we needed. Please, please let me know when you feel prepared to try to quell Lord Arcanine's frenzy. It's just standing there.
I have one water type. Uh, no, I want a D. I have one water type and he's woefully underleveled. Uh, I reset my router is what I did uh, to improve the stream quality. Um, okay. Uh, I feel like... I feel like I should have gone to bed by now. Ocean. I don't actually need them yet. I'm debating if I should um, go back and change up my team. Okay, yes, I'm just... Okay. Where can I just... Oh, grab with Y. Oh, he keeps closing the menu on me. Okay, yeah. I, I'm trying to move the cursor or whatever and it won't let me... Okay. Are you ready, Mitsumi? Ready as I'll ever be. Mitsumi, please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may finally have become alert, but it's clear this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. He's just standing there! Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while you're dodging. Moves will slip right by you. Good luck. Yeah, come on. Looks like Solgalia. Oh. Okay. Hey, Hot! Hey! Ah! It's a volcano bomb. Hello, Kamkatsu! Hello there! Oh, shoot. Okay. I guess that does not prevent me from. Frick! I don't know what kind of... I can't go any further. Oh, frick. I do not know what your character is wearing on their head, but I hope it's protecting them from the angry fire beast. Oh, he's charging big time. Yes. Frick. Frick. Ah, damn it. Okay, I keep thinking B is dodge. B is not dodge. Oh, that's what I'm... Okay, I thought the whole point... Keep previous progress, okay. Yeah, it's one of those, um, like, rice field hats. Okay, okay, I cannot actually waver into the lava. Oh, frick. Okay, all right, that's good. 
Oh, wow. Okay. The F was that. The F was what? The instant hit attack. Okay. Um, I only have one water type. Oh, frick. Okay. Well, oh! I brought one water type with me to an active volcano. I do, however, have my little friend. I don't want to see too much of this fight's details. Good luck. Okay. I will see you later, illustrious racket. Anyway, I have my parrot with me. Frick! This is your best card after. Okay. Yes, I named a Pokemon after a Digimon character. Frickin' fight me. Goodness. Okay, can I actually? <laughs> my my controllers are going nuts. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh my god, I don't know how I got out of the way of that thing. Oh my lord. Can't get over there. already, please. Frick! 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 <laughs> yes, I know. And I can't do that because I'm across the frickin' battlefield. Keep free for a casually and paste to assert dominance. <laughs> At least I can't dive into the lava. The game has been sensible with that. It can dive into the lava, though. Of course, they, they always do that final blow that doesn't actually count. <laughs> so
so how, how was your stream? How many more abominations did you make? I've got to know. Hat has been uh, playing um, Pokemon Art Academy. Oh, look! The strange light has left Arcanine and is vanishing into the space-time rift. <laughs> the flame plate! Yay! Three abominations, or maybe two, three drawings at least. Awesome. The essence of fire. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? <coughs> what? Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? Ah, uh, yeah. I knew. I knew we'd see it. Ever so briefly. It's gonna be gone. Yep. Oh, now I understand. We're done with the apprentice level lesson, so next year we get to draw Pikachu again as our apprentice level finale. Are you already coming up with horrific ideas? My little Growlithe, and <laughs> I misspoke. Lord of the Isles Arcanine! You and I must now live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. <laughs> It wasn't, but now that you mentioned. Now, no, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. <laughs> From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. <laughs> Hey, Hat, living in Texas, this will amuse you. Earlier, I completely forgot how to do a southern accent. Uh, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. <laughs> Please, I, d I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? You deal with a ghost! No need to worry, Iskin. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous lord calling out to us. Seems I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. Mitsumi, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping the dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. Just a second. I'm gonna message Illustrious Rocket because, um... Well... <laughs> Okay, okay, done. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes I also forget how to do a southern accent. <laughs> I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Irida as well. She's kind of a bitch to you earlier, honestly. <laughs> Ooh, this is a little shocking. Because she was talking earlier about how you were good friends, and then she just showed up like yeah, <laughs> just like, yeah, don't forget I'm the boss around here. Now then, Iskin, I believe we'd best be off. <laughs> Mitsumi, I wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Lena wouldn't raise Growlithe to be the new lord, and people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden. I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? Those words left me with much to consider. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bomb. Something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? 
I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights, even if some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land of Hisui. <laughs> Grant me another battle someday, Mitsumi. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to be of help to you and to broaden the horizons of the world I see. <laughs> Looks like I get Lena to thank for yet another lesson that I've learned. I should let her know. And hear more about her relationship with Warden Iskin while I'm at it. Here's where we part for now, Mitsumi. I need to get off this oven of an island. I'm not fighting you here because my partner's an ice type. <laughs> I, I can't believe I managed to do that with a level 32 Psyduck. <laughs> oh my freaking god. I just keep going and going and going. I really should have paused or broken or something by now. Ah, seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look then. I gave Laventon what was supposed to be like a, you know, Cockney or something. It ended up Australian. You quelled the new Lord Arcanine. <laughs> Let's go tell Commander Commodore the good news and shall we back to Jubilife we go. <laughs> because the accent was so bad I got sent to a prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wants... Okay. That's a no-no, that won't work. Why, hello again! Wonderful timing as always, I see. You really came to my rescue with that pickling stone, you know? You're quite the little helper. The pickling stone, by the way, is that geodude behind her. So I wonder if I can impose on you again for help with a new pickle proposal of mine. I was down by the sea gathering fresh ingredients recently when, wouldn't you know it, an octillery popped up and sprayed me with ink. Here's the thing, the ink, well, it actually tasted rather good. Inspiration quite literally struck me at that moment. I knew I could use this ink to create pickles the likes of which the world has never seen. And making food out of something a Pokemon is fat up seems risky to say the least, no? So, a little research on Octillery is in order, I think. That's where you come in, dear. If you learn more about Octillery, please let me know. You are befouled and disgusting. They do have a... yes. Hmm. Okay, I don't get one for... okay. Oh, it's just for the regular kinds. <laughs> oh! I think people like my recipe. Now, before you eat a, a away treat, let me hear your moment, would you, Lass? I came up with a new treat using candy truffles, but it cost me nothing but sorrow! Every last person who tries it says it's beyond saving! A complete disaster! Utterly terrible! I had to shelve this new creation, and there it remains in a salty puddle of my bitter tears! Likely never see the light of day again. Seems like I'll never be able to pull profit for recreation, but at least I'd like to at least share my recipe with someone, lest it be forgotten entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I've got plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring me a soot foot root, a springy mushroom, and a hopo berry. Got that? Uh. 
Uh, okay. Okay, I have Hopo Berry, uh, there. Springy Mushroom, let's do a few of them. Uh, and that thing. How do you get Pokemon to be your friend? If you brought a soot for berry, a springy mushroom, and a hobo berry, I'd be happy to use them to teach you, teach you my swap snack recipe. So how about it? Um... Then learn from the master! <laughs> okay... <laughs> Isn't that just typical of our famed Survey Corps recruit? Took to, to it like a finny underwater. Hello, illustrious racket. Took less time than I expected. Good. Swap the X to swap around a Pokemon's offensive stats and defensive stats for a time. It's a curious sort of mix-up, not at all what I was going for, but life serves off all kinds of surprises. And you survey core folks end up fighting against all sorts of different Pokemon, don't you? If anyone could find good use for my swap snacks, I'm sure it'd be someone like you. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have anything to tell Silene yet. Oh, what do you want? Your sister wander off again? There you are, I've been looking for you. My sister Wanda went off to the... Oh, of course she did. And of course her name is Wanda, because she Wanda's. Where do you think you can find her? I think you kerchief again. Yeah, I found her without it earlier. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I know where the Agriculture Guild is. There are no other requests, yeah. Agriculture Guild's gotta be upstairs, yeah? Whoo! Okay, this is... Okay, that's Construction Guild. Is this Agriculture? Oh no, this would be like Law Enforcement, because this is the one that has the, the pictures. this agriculture? I mean, it looks like it would be agriculture. Look at this. Okay. Uh... Okay, he's out in the fields. You did well on your mission to the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there not led not only the Galaxy Team, but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift, however. If we are able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. You are the only person who has expressed any doubts. Though how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. He gave me a really creepy speech earlier. It was like some sort of weird cross between Cyrus, Lissandra, and N. <laughs> it was weird. Oh. Commodo! <sighs> you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a little different. Well, that's because I use the Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit! Beth, a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. 
Hell yeah, Jenny, to fire spit island and witness the event myself. <laughs> this week, this world's the only thing can do is clean filthy fuck around like that. Is he growing a grooving surface? <laughs> You'll see it when I put the full video up. I, I'll try to find the timestamp. Could you even write on Basque Legion in the first place, Professor? Come on now, you know my coordination is so far I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. Ah, I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course I can't possibly ride a top of fierce and beast like Basque Legion. He says with a gigantic smile on his face. That being said... Well, do you remember, well, do you remember these wise words? The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. Who keeps saying these things you say? And strive our shell. For the sake of my research, I will surely write a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. Okay, who's gonna come at me now? Is it Ray? I think it's Ray. Oh. It's Annabelle all over again. They did it again. Okay, are you saying this guy is a follower that he's actually one of the Subway Bros and not their ancestor? Because if so, that is a spoiler. Even if I'm just about to find something out, that's still a spoiler. Good morning, good lady who came from the sky! Commander Commodore told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office! Trains are very powerful. Mitsumi, I have your next orders. You must go- oh. You must go to the Coronet Heights to quell another frenzied noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. That would explain why there was that electrode on the mural. Okay, it, it does have the nobles on it. Electrode has a propensity to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. That sense electrode became frenzied. Those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. That's what I was thinking. Ugh. <sighs> We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid and securing you safe passage to Electrode's seat. I said word ahead ask to Irida asking... No, you don't get a permission to go up the... <laughs> Adam and... Oh, save it as if I stop the likes of you now out of my way. Oh, okay, this is someone new. Hey ho, boss man Commodo! I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue right there, Adaman. How exactly did you intend to discuss Electrode without me? It's Mighty Warden here to weigh in. Ingo shows up and gives you a message in whatever this place is, refuses to elaborate, leaves. Look. Why do you think I met this person already? <laughs> There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Mitsui to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Oh, come on! Is it me you're trying to humiliate here or our entire clan? Besides, you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? 
I swear I saw someone who looked just like this and acted like an ancient Avery. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Pay no mind. It's even, even Security Corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. That being said, she's been making a stink face at you for the last 35 seconds. Yes? It is clear that the Security Corps needs even further rounds of training for me later. I'm gonna judo chuck this bitch right out the front door. Hear that, Melly? The Security Corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. Commander Sumo moves can even send boulders flying. <laughs> now, now, that will do. Mitsumi, you have your orders. See to it that Electrode is quelled. Warden well, Melly, of course we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go! Okay, I w don't send me out of your office just yet. I want to check out that picture on your desk. Listen, Millie, the Galaxy Team, well, at least Mitsumi, is amazing, and we'll prove it. Follow me outside. Oh, there's another... okay. The sighting of a mysterious folk, they do look like Avery and sound like him, but... Ah, oh, really good choice, then. See me, I see you taste all, taking all the requests I posted. Let me fill you in right away, then. I was traveling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming out a little way out from the shore. Rather regrettably, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I can only assume this mysterious swimmer was some sort of Pokemon. Because, I mean, what else would it be? On the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting on the ocean currents. Now, if not mistaken, on the seas behind Jubilife, that would take it all the way to the Cobalt Coastlands. Manaphy? This rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed there for some specific purpose. Given the circumstances, I think it I was thinking if we spoke with the good Warden Iskin of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. Oh god, really? Okay, I'm just starting off a whole bunch of stuff. I thought I'd have to go out there. Uh, I got your message, Professor Lavinson. So, um, you're looking for a Pokemon that was uh, swimming towards the Cobalt Coastlands, yes? He thinks he might have been right about something? No spoilers! Um, I'm very sorry, but I, I can't tell you much based on that alone. Uh, well, uh, there is one thing I can tell you. It, it's got a little, like, floaty thing it's standing on. Uh, I've heard that long ago the Cobalt Coastlands was known as the East Sea, and a princely Pokemon- Oh god, it is Manaphy. And a princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. Uh, the story of this princely Pokemon can be found in a tome called The Sea's Legend. Yeah. Manaphy's the second one, after Cresselia. <laughs> yeah, we came across... Um, we came across this mural earlier in, in a cave that we were passing through. Okay, so that means one of the ones we can't... Oh! Okay, the one next to Electrode is Basque Legion. Yeah. Okay. It's not Manaphy that someone transferred a chow from their GBA to Sonic Adventure 2 battle, obviously. The other one on the bottom... Well, one of them has to be Arcanine. You know what's funny, though? There's only Azelf. There's not the other two. And again, there also seem to be uh, two Darkrai's. The one above Darkrai, I just realized, is Heatran. What? What? 
its heat ran from the front. Uh, the one next to here has Arceus. Would Arceus be put in there just randomly? The June image on Discord. And no one knows much about either the tome or its tail beyond what I've just told you. I gotta get to a flip spot where I can save. Because I've got a, I gotta go. I haven't had dinner yet, and it's almost one a.m. And I need to put the birds to bed. So uh, th that's all I know. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. I'll um, I'll just take my leave here then. We could have sent a letter. Like more space in their satchel. People who don't like being conned. Okay, now I want to go see this picture. Look at that! Interesting. Really? Are we really doing this? Okay, let's go talk to her first. You look like even a slight breeze could topple you. Can you really defeat Adamant? Um, yeah. All right, Mitsumi, go around with me. Melly, make sure you watch closely now. Uh, she looks like someone from another game. <laughs> the facial expressions in this game. <laughs> okay, yeah, quick attack, fine, whatever. The baby doll eyes. Okay, flame wheel, come on. <laughs> yeah, strong style Eevee. You try that, huh? You're Okay, well that gave you some experience points. Okay. Notice when you when I, it was when I was picking one, it went into a um stripped down version of this theme. I wonder how Porygon is supposed to evolve. In a time before computers. The space-time rift. I found an upgrade. Ooh. Can evolve. This program even exists for computer. It just fell through. Yeah, there's space time rifts in this game, Hat. You see how good Mitsumi is now, yes? No more sneering at her. Huh. Now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan is going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Mitsumi. Glad to have your help, as always. <laughs> Melly, shift yourself unless you really. If you want to get even more than an earful than you already do for. <laughs> Come on, Adam, and cut me some slack here. Mitsumi. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission.
Your survey work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. I guess in Explorers of Sky you can find Porygons in the Spatial Rift, so that checks out. Porygon just being in the past creates some hilarious paradox problems. Well, it invents itself. <laughs> Conquest had Mewtwo in it, but then again, Conquest might not actually take place in the feudal era, so... You'll be on the wrist doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. But you will need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Meet Ingo of the Pearl Clan. Oh my fucking god. Conquest banks are in their own timeline entirely. Yeah. Let me save the game. Let me save the game. Oh. You guys like my necklace. <laughs> oh god, when I smile like that, my tooth looks all discolored. I I have healthy teeth. It's like... Oh golly. I have to give... <laughs> See, dude. Oh my god, you and Taohua need to either kill each other or make out. Because seriously. Oh, come on, you know how this goes by now. I need help getting new goods. Taohua is once you know, refusing to supply anything to me. Suppose you must be wondering why he refuses any time I try to deal with him directly. Well, let's just say he has his reasons. Please speak to Taohua for me, would you? I imagine you have better luck if you bring up some crunchy salt as a gesture of coup. <laughs> it's so weird seeing Charon's face in a normal proportion, man. And he's smiling. He's usually smiling. Charon had a permanent for the hunchback of Veilstone City. Charon had, like, the big permanent scowl. But Choi, you know... <laughs> he looks hopeful. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not quite right. It just needs that little extra something. <laughs> this book is scary. Oh, just the girl I need. I could use some help coming up with new hairstyles. I've hit a real wall here. A Pokemon would be great for inspiration, I bet. Right now I'm picturing... Yeah, Mischievous! If I could study a Mischievous up close, I'm sure I'd come up with some amazing new styles. <laughs> if you manage to catch a Mischievous, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? You see Mars becoming a stylist after Team Galactic falls apart for good, to be honest. I mean, she does that to herself, so... She must have some... something going on, right? Oh yeah, that's right. The evolution animation is incredible. I know, right? They did not have to go even a fourth that hard, but they did. Mm. Uh, what am I gonna do? At this rate, I'll make a real fool of myself in front of Conlan. Ah, oh, hello. You're one of those kids from the Survey Corps, right? You might actually be just the person I need to help me out with a little research. My boy Conlon and I are planning to head to Prelude Beach at night and find the ghosts that are rumored to haunt the place. <laughs> it looks like Rose with fat cheeks. <laughs> I'll go scare the daylights out of me. Uh, <clears throat> my son, he, he's terrified of him. Yeah, I think we could just not go and call it a day, but no, I'm afraid his whole heart set on this. You know, my fellow snake gets like scared of ghosts forever, right? It's just too tragic. For my boy, I mean. Learning experience, yeah. So maybe if I study up on ghosts, I can find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. If you got any research data on spooky Pokemon, Ghastly would be a good one. I'd be very grateful if you share it with me. Yes, I do. Gathered lots of data on Ghastly, have you? He's twerpy enough to be Rose's ancestor. Well, so's the, the guy that was selling the candy earlier. Mushrooms, they will all be. Scissor Gasly likes to eat mushrooms of all things. Oh, that's a bad thing, mine. It's just a lot more tame than I was expecting. Yeah, I was thinking that ghosts love nothing more than a snack on unsuspecting humans. That's no, funny, I'm actually partial to a nice mushroom stew myself. Maybe Gasly aren't so ghastly after all. 
Hey, Dad, what you doing there? Ah, Codlin. Adopted, I take it? <laughs> you need to have a word with your descendant about scary monsters. <laughs> Talking about work again? Don't forget you gotta take a day off tomorrow. Promise to take me to see the ghosties at Prelude Beach, remember? Uh, of course you're all down to rivers, kiddo, and I never let work get in the way of our ghost hunt. I'm really looking forward to- He's always working. Yay! I'm gonna get to go teach out to all my friends. Bye! <laughs> Kitty butts hats with. <laughs> Traits are frozen, Peony. You know, he was just putting on a brave face because you were here. And anyway, I you one kid. I got the feeling my boy will be just fine tomorrow. I drew that out extra long because I was already planning on it. Linking cord, wow. So that means I can actually... By the way, I noticed this earlier. Everyone talks about how Volo looks like Cynthia. Look at this woman's hair. It's not in her face, it's just in her hair. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Cynthia is a homunculus of many people to create the ultimate champion. That explains everything. <laughs> X to transfer 11 item. Oh, okay. No, actually, I didn't notice. Okay. I look forward to conducting you on this endeavor! See, here's the thing. You spoiled me on this. And I do not like that. Please do not give me any more spoilers, even if it's something I'm just about to find out. Hello, Mitsumi. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Snee... Sneezler. He will guide you to her domain. Pleased to meet, properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I'm the Warden Ingo. A noun or an adjective. <laughs> it's both, but who cares? I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she sees she'll still fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard! Ingo's a bit like you, you know. He still does it. Trains won't be invented for another 50 years, bucko. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Your traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. Let's get back to my computer. What the hell is Ingo doing here? Irida just explained. He showed up one day through a rift in space-time and has no memory. I, on the other hand, do not have... Ne it's never been said that I don't have memory. I'm just not telling anybody anything. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Mitsumi. Good luck up in the Highlands. What if I don't want to go to the Coronet Heights for my next mission, huh? But I'm going to go to the gates because I'm certain there's going to be something... That I run into at the gates does Ingo still know what a train is? He seems to. He seems to act like it. I just know something's gonna happen at the gates. Get his memory back if you find an ancient train. Oh. 
Nothing's gonna happen at the gates. Okay, well in that case, I can finally save and quit. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Ghost Train, but can we suplex it? Can we? Suplex a ghost train. Hat, you only played a little bit of Final Fantasy VI? Oh, I did just finish playing Spirit Tracks. Nice. Okay. I am going to try to see who we can possibly raid. I want to see something here. Um... Okay, we're going to be reading Super Ninbao. He is playing uh, one of the Mega Man games, and he's doing it in costume. <laughs> Aware of the train suplex, at least, lol. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to send you guys clearly Ingo saw Back to the Future 3 and got ideas. Yes. All right, well, I will see you guys later. I have had a lot of fun. But it is 1 a.m. <laughs> I will take that in like a second. Wait, hold on.